friends. Hello. I'm Angela. I'm your Hello. DM for this evening. Welcome to your Tuesday night go-to stream, Shenanigans, The Book of Fables, that sort of fairy tale D&D show where you contribute to the chaos. And tonight we have our own batch of chaos to bring to the table because we are jumping right into combat as soon as we start the show. Oh, Lord. Uh, but first... Uh, thank you all so much for joining us, those of you in chat. I uh, hope your evening is going well, and we're very excited to have you. Yes. Um, we are members... Oh, hello, first of all, hello, players. Hello, Angela. Hello. Hi. Did you, um, did you, did you wake up this morning and choose violence? <laughs> oh my god, yes, did I. Mm. It's Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, at least I hope you logged in and chose violence this, this evening. Because that's what's, that's what you're getting. Let me never. Uh huh. So, um, we are uh, all part of the Nerdsmith Network here at Shenanigans. Um, you can find out more about us at nerdsmith.org. Uh, or if you like what you see tonight and you want to continue supporting us, you can find us at Patreon at patreon.com slash nerdsmith. And, uh, and we might have some other things to announce soon, but we're waiting on a couple Ooh. things. Um, just as a hint. Uh, we've been kicking around the idea of a, um, of doing a, a Kickstarter for a while, um, and we may be waiting on the approval of said Kickstarter, and it might be launching June 1st, and it might be for Pride Month, and it might be nerdy as shit, and we might be very excited about it. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, how? since Tuesday is June 1st, you'll find out about it right here. We will talk about it ad nauseum, I'm sure. Yes. Uh, so we are very, very excited to uh, to tell you about that. Uh, but keep an eye on us on Twitter, because mm -hmm. we'll be announcing it officially there. And uh, and hopefully you'll uh, join us for uh, super gay nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, we are only here. Oh my, we've got a new subscriber. And because of our amazing, amazing sponsors, uh, we are, and, and you'll actually get to see a little bit more uh, of them today, mm -hmm. Eldritch Foundry. We are sponsored by Eldritch Foundry. They are the uh, miniature designer that we created our character portraits using. Um, so you can see everybody's, uh, um, we colored the pictures, but the initial mole of the initial model is created in Eldritch Foundry system. If you use the link we put in chat and you end up buying anything from them, like a printed copy of your miniature, um, we get a little bit of um, get a little bit of a kick from that, and you help support our show while also getting a really beautiful fantasy uh, miniature design. Uh, so please check them out. We are also sponsored by World Anvil, absolutely incredible, the most extensive world building and campaign management platform that. I am so proud to be a part of, and I use daily. Uh, you, if you are a DM like I am, or a writer, or a role player, any reason that you want to keep track of your world, or characters, or timeline, or calendar, or anything in your worlds, uh, you should use World Anvil. They are free to start. Um, if you'd like to get some special customization features and some kind of real souped up premium features, you can join them as a guild member, uh, which is very affordable. Um, but if not, even then get a lot of really cool stuff for different versions, so check them out. I cannot recommend World Anvil enough. Uh, they're constantly coming out with new features, and I'm super happy that we are a part of their family. And finally, since it is the last Tuesday of the month, uh, we are talking Die Hard Dice and what, we, uh, what, the, what our May featured item is. We are talking Die Hard Dice, and um, right now, in my hand, I have the Dire D20. Huh? What? Ooh, dropped a dice, it made a loud noise. Oh, that's okay. The Dire D20, uh... Ooh, come on, camera. Let's do a focus. Let's do a... Let's... Yes, work mm -hmm. it, work it. No. Go look at those no. angles. Oh, so pretty, so right pretty. Right on the 20. Right on the 20. Uh, this is the... Uh, multi-class in champion and so i'm sitting here and i'm, I'm trying to um uh, my partner said he was going to order dinner and then uh fell asleep so um now i have to order dinner and so i'm sitting here and i'm trying to figure out what i want so I, i'm thinking like 20 i might do like mcdonald's maybe one i might do pizza but i'm thinking you know what would be better what if i did 
blue 20 McDonald's. And then if it's on the purple side that I just popped on, hey. purple and gold, uh, maybe I'll do <laughs> pizza instead. So, or, or Panda Express. Hmm. Let's find out. So let's go. Too many choices. Let's go purple mm. Panda Express, because that sounds better. And blue, we will do go. burgers. That's fair. That is a purple. So, um, well, I guess I am gonna go get order myself some Panda Express to be delivered while uh, we play. So uh, <laughs> this my my dinner choice That's brought to you by Die Hard Dice. But if you would like your own set of the multi-class dice by Die Hard Dice, you should go to dieharddice.com and use the coupon code NERDSMITH-MAY for 10% off your order. Um, they are very, very fun. I have been having way too much fun taking them apart and putting them back together with different combinations thereof. And uh, you guys should really, really enjoy. Take it away, Angela. Thank you, Tessa. He's doing, doing fine. It's doing fine. It's all good. Well, let's chat a little bit. Let's chat a little bit about what happened. Uh, what happened last week? Last week, you found yourselves at a pumpkin patch, run by the delightful Mr. Mammon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No relation. Um, and uh, Mr. Mammon um, was uh, was a pumpkin farmer, and he was very excited to have some people show up. Um, but what he wasn't very excited about was the fact that he showed up just before sundown. Because apparently, his pumpkins... Something's in his pumpkin patch. Some mm -hmm. sort of spirit that likes to rise up and cause chaos. And uh, happens every full moon. Happens to be a full moon tonight. Um, and you <laughs> all went inside his house as, uh, as sun went down. And you all um, are dealing, you all dealt with the prospect of this gigantic thing um, bringing pumpkins to life and attacking you. So, uh, as one does. you, as one does, and, and you, you worked your best uh, know-how and tried to figure out what to do, and then you realized, hey, maybe we should, maybe we should ask for a little help. And so you all jumped into the book of fables um and uh and, and trained for a little while some furious training to try to level up a little bit and see if um that would help you with your fight against uh against the pumpkin uh so you all leveled a little bit mm -hmm. learned a couple new things most importantly, though, you divulged to Her Majesty of the Word what was going on outside the book and what was going on within her own court. That Her Majesty of the Trade, one of the six queens of the Fey book, was a traitor. Uh, that she was apparently in league with your main adversary, the Lord of Tales, the one who created the book and held it in an iron grip, uh, an iron pen grip. I don't know. There was a joke there. I didn't have it. Um, <laughs> and uh, was also responsible for. It's a little hard to to kind of nail down whether it was brainwashing, just emotional abuse. Kind of hard to tell. Um, but was responsible for um, Valene being lured and possessed by the Lord of Tales early on in your adventure. Um, you told the Queen of the Word. She said she had, she wanted to believe you. Your running stream is up. Anything from said person, mm -hmm. and I got text feedback. What did it say? Saying I'm going to the bookstore. Do you want anything? Okay. And I'm just like, <sighs> okay. Like, so you all arrive back in the material world, a little leveled up, and ready? Question mark to uh, to take on a 
robust pumpkin monster that has possessed Mr. Mammon's field. You make your way through the book and you teleport back where you find that there are massive banging, shaking reverberations through the farmhouse. Uh, the lane is currently huddled uh, over um, over Toshi and uh, trying to protect him from it and uh, trying to protect from him from debris and uh, um, uh, Nicket is also sort of ducked out of the way and there are vines and claws kind of crushing into the roof um, as you all uh, need to deal with what's going on. So, uh, if we aren't already, we're ready for our combat map, I think. Uh, actually, no, not yet. What do you do? I apologize again for muting everybody on stream. Except for me? <laughs> No, including you. I accidentally muted everybody because okay. Robert came over to me in a panic about Dad contacting him, and so I went to mute myself and hit the wrong mute button. So, uh, sorry. So no one heard the explanation. They heard some of it, most of it. Sorry. Where did I stop? Where no? Where did I stop? Uh, it was. Let me. I stop. You you just there was like a little small bit that got cut out, but then it, it, then it was fine. So. Well, I'll just backtrack to when you showed up after the, you got out of the book. Perfect. So. You all appear back in the living room, or back in the, the bedroom. Uh, the lane is huddled in the closet with Toshi underneath him, uh, kind of like hovering from the debris. There is shaking and like booming shaking going on in the house. Um, Nick is also in the closet, uh, like in the frame of the closet. Um, Mr. Mammon is, uh, it's hard to see. Mr. Mammon might be under the, and, um, you see vines and claws, long razor sharp claws made of like bark or, or vining, like coming through the wall and the ceiling. Uh, there's vines that broke a little bit of the window. What do you do? Right now there's just a threat. I'm not having you roll initiative yet until you are actually in combat with this thing. Beza runs over to protect Nicket, like Valane's protecting Toshi. Okay, so you kind of get get around Nicket. They mm -hmm. all see you're there. And, uh, anybody else doing anything? Uh, Paru grabs as the, her. As the claws are, like, like, kind of crunching in, grabbing fistfuls of the ceiling. Uh, Paru, uh, jumps up on the table uh, and onto Harlan's shoulders and whacks the claws coming in through the ceiling with her um, with her uh, shillelagh. There we go. Couldn't think of the word. Okay. Alright. To get them attack. out. Yeah. Alright. So go ahead and uh, go ahead and make an attack. Let's see here. Also, I don't know if it's possible if you could try to get all the volume like in general up or I don't know if that's going to be real harsh on your ears. Uh, yeah, I can do that. One second. We're, we're super quiet. Stream. Let me see what I can do. See if that helps. All right. All right, you guys let me know if that's any better. Hopefully it is. And I will uh, do a whack attack. A whack attack. A whack attack. Um, that is... A uh twenty three to hit. Twenty three will hit. Alrighty. <laughs> um. So. And what are you aiming for? Vines or the claws? The claws, like you know, when okay. the movies where you see yeah. like the bad guy like hanging onto the cliff and they like, whack him in the hand. That's basically You're what she's. Mate. You're trying to get him to let go. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, for seven points of uh magical damage. Seven points of magical what, bludgeoning damage. Magical or? bludgeoning. Yeah. All right. Cool. 
All right. So, yeah, you um, you smash. You hear a crunch as one of the claws kind of gets flattened, very much in that same way. You ever like, you ever like break a sunflower? It's like that. <laughs> um, so there's like clearly like a hollow sort of like plant-like stem uh, structure. Um, but yeah, there's a crack, and you hear, <laughs> and it like pulls, like its hand pulls out, and you hear another, <laughs> as it seems like he might be throwing a tantrum. But there's vines slowly creeping through the window. It looks like it's kind of cracked a little bit and starting to just slowly but surely um, visibly grow into the house. And you're all in the bedroom. There's a hallway. The hallway will go to the kitchen, and the kitchen leads outside. Uh, I, th I think that we should uh, charge and kind of pull danger away from children. I grab the book from where I see Valene, uh, because I still, Valaine, I still have it. it. Like, against their chest, and he's got yeah. Toshi under his other arm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna, like, get it from them, and I'm gonna take off yeah. out the back door. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, alright. Uh, Valene, uh, uh, Beza, you see Valene kind of, uh, kind of grab Toshi's head and he goes stay with your sister sibling fuck sorry uh, and pushes uh, Toshi towards Nicket and Nicket grabs him um, and uh, Valene picks the bed like mamma get the fuck out of there I mean actually you know what no stay there fine and he <laughs> <laughs> um, and he runs after uh, oh yeah do you guys okay. follow yeah, Abaze is gonna grab the backpack from Nicket. Yep. Fl sling it on because she's not leaving that shit behind anywhere ever, and then um, follows. All right. Harland is going to actually drop his pack and um, kind of sit down on his heels real quick and uh, look at Toshi. He's like, "Now, if you need if you need something to hold on to, uh, there's something in the pack. Uh, it's a." Uh, it's it's got little flippers and it's kind of kind of uh plush it's it's uh there's a, there's a whole mess of them in there just, just take take what you need and help take the run what are you referring to the seal plushies oh fuck i forgot about the seal plushies okay yes um all right so uh toshi's okay and uh and you shout do you do anything else before you you head outside um, we can out the windows. Um, he sealed them up. He went the one that you're looking at, uh, like part of the um, part of the wood that he put in front of one of the windows has been broken, and some of the vines are coming out. So you can like kind of glance, but that's also very close to where this dude is. Okay. Um. Did stream up for anybody else? Um. Okay, are we pretty much running outside and into combat? Uh, correct. Okay, as, um, as soon as Bazes... Just, hold on, I just want to make sure we've got... I want to know what um, Harlan's doing first completely before we do that, because everyone will come out at the same time. Um, I think on his way out the door, Harlan is just going to... Um, gesture at the lines and it's like it could just chill out and uh, cast frostbite okay. on the bus uh, specifically coming through the window that would cause like a break in the the, the, the thing to see inside the, the wall because remembering what uh, man said about the uh, it seeing people yeah okay uh, so yeah, um, so do you have to do anything for that? Roll um, anything or? Constitution throw from the vines. Constitution save is whew, 19. Oh yeah, um, that uh, passes. Okay. Um, So it's just like it kind of like a little bit and just it 
shakes off like a like very thin layer of frost rime. Okay. Harland ducks out. Um, so, as you all rush out the door, um, everybody roll initiative. Oh boy. Wow. What was that? That was garbage. Can I just say I rolled a one, a three, and a seven on the three dice I rolled? I'm going to use my reroll. So the pumpkin has not a one. <laughs> um, but we That's like it having better. a one. That's better. Thank you, Alora, for the reroll from yes from last week. Um, forgot we had those. I have also been reroll four. Yeah, I was going to say, you guys have rerolls. Uh, Beza got a 20. Um, hold on a sec. Um... Let me get here. Okay, so he's got a twenty. Um, fifteen for me now. Fifteen for Harland. Yep. Okay. Oliet. Uh, I got a twenty-one. Twenty-one, damn. Um, Paru. Eleven. Cool, thank you. Uh, did, did uh, Discord change their server settings where they have uh, the location of the server? Because I was trying to get us off of the one that was choppy and I can't find it. Just. Um, don't know. All right, Let me well, check. I'll, I'll keep hunting it down. No worries. You guys go f keep going. I will figure it out. There's a region override section on the channel of settings. Thank you, thank you. But I, I don't know if you can do anything other than that. I'll see what I can um, do. Okay. So. Send these here. Let's get these organized. Organize. Sort. All right, that means, Oliet, you are first, and we are good to launch into our, uh, our combat. Okay, 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 okay. How tall is the house? The house is, um, a robust one story. We're gonna say it's like one and a half stories. There's only one floor. Okay, so like 15 feet. Yeah, um, let me see here. Oh, wait, no, is the story 10 feet or 20 feet? I can't remember. Uh, story... 10 to 12. Oh. Yeah, something like that. No, I don't really know, but that sounds around, great. I saw around 14 feet. Okay. So, like, let's say 10 to 14, so it's around there. Okay. Neat. Uh, and this creature seems much bigger than that, I, I presume? Um, it is a huge creature oh so yeah um i have actually have a reference for you to use if you need um i have a size reference this happens multiple times a, a week that i that i go it's probably best if i explain how the the size works um, 27 bananas sure um let's see here's a <laughs> okay, it's a decent um, thing for you guys to look at, um, and I'll, I'll share it in chat as well if anybody cares. Um, here's a size chart <laughs> in a moment. Are, are we sure that we can share that when it's not shenanigans after dark? It's a huge creature. Okay, well, hmm. that's okay. that's a thing. Fine. Yeah. Um, here fine. you go. Uh, here you go, audience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Yep. Enjoy that. Yep. 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 Okay. I'd like to point um, out that Beza starts small. <laughs> yes, Beza starts small. Paru stays um, small. But she back. She packs a mean punch, though. That's true. Or mean Shalali, anyway. A mean dinosaur um, bite. That's true. Hey. Uh, all right. Okay. So, um, do you guys see? Um, let me see here. Um. You all 
do not need to um, um I should have done this before the game. Um, but uh, you don't have to control anything, but here's the roll 20 if you want to get into the map so you can see things. Yeah. Oh, probably okay. way easier. Tessa can show the map to everybody, but it's probably easier for you guys to just see it on your own. Um, mm -hmm. So, Oliet, as you are coming out around the side of the house. House. Yeah, um, I am going to... <laughs> Uh, gosh. I am, uh... You see, I'll, I'll give you a couple of points of interest if it's helpful. Um, uh, I think I know what I'm going to do. I think okay, I'm going to take to the air, and I'm going to cast right. Cloud of Daggers over this thing. All right, how high up are you going? Uh, I'm going to go my full 30 feet of movement. All right, so 30 feet up? I think I have, yeah, flying speed of 30 feet. So I'm going to go 30 feet. Okay. Well, it's more like... 20 feet up and kind of like 10 foot forward. Like I'm going at a slight diagonal. So we'll say I'm 20 feet in the air. All righty. Um, I don't want to get a little closer and cast Cloud of Daggers. Cool. It is a... Oh, there's no... Save. It just Cloud happens. Daggers. All right. It just happens. So it has to take some damage. From all these knives, from all these knives. Ooh. Oh my god! What'd you do? I rolled four, I rolled three fours and a two. So three fours four, and a two, okay. 12, what is math? Four and eight and 12 and 14 points of slashing damage. Nice. Whenever it starts its turn there, which it will, because it's centered over its head. Okay. So. Aliette, as you are unleashing these, is it is it literally like spectral daggers or? Yes. So as you watch all of these blades start like slicing into this monstrous mutated gourd creature, it howls and the knives seem to slice very deep into this thing. And there's just seeds and like pumpkin guts going everywhere and yeah. it takes double damage <gasps> Ooh. amazing nice so stab um, man somebody do the stabbing. somebody chose a good damage time <laughs> um, the uh, and haru did seven i think i'm just trying to keep track yes what we did here. Okay. Baze is going to be covered in pumpkin guts by the time this is over. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Just picturing uh, Drax. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, next is Beza. Your turn. All right. I'm going to activate my uh, rune that lets me grow large. Yeah. How big do I... you get? Large? Just large? Yeah, large. So. Okay, so we're gonna scoot. We're gonna scoot Harland over a little bit. <laughs> if, if possible, can we scoot actually creature? everybody over to the right a little bit? Because I am, I unfortunately sure. am just not quite able you to get to everybody on the screen. That's fine. Yeah. There we go. Let's scoot everyone over. <laughs> there we go. Just peeking I mean, out from behind the vines. <laughs> Excuse there. me. Okay, but you're, yeah. you're. I mean, you're she's up, she's gonna like run past everybody as she's. Uh, becoming large and then go and attack it oh good i moved so only it's in the front on top so it's like she's she's hovering above um all right so beza you are in melee range and you attack are you using the roll 20 roller no no just use your regular stuff this is just for the map for reference i don't have anything set okay. up for roll 20. i'm, I'm okay with that because that roller hates me <laughs> Um, that's going to be a 20. 20 will hit. And a 24. 24. And I get a third also. attack now because yeah. level five fighter. And that last one's also a 24. God, I love fighters. Nice. Um, all right. Go ahead and give me all your damage. All right. Um. Oh shit! Now I have to do math. Hold on. Because when I grow, me, you... oh, go ahead, Dad. 
I'll, I'll message. When I grow, I add an extra d6 of damage. So I need to do 3d6 and 3d8. Yep. Good lord. Yeah. Keep in mind, though, one trick pony. I go hit shit. Like, that's, that's all I got. Okay, so that's, um, 15, 19, oh no, plus my four. 19 plus 12, 31 from just the swords. What, from, so it's slashing? It is... Piercing, because it's rapiers. Piercing. All right, 31. I'm not done yet, though, because I still have to roll the d6. Yeah, you're fine. Amazing. That's another um, nine. Nine, awesome. Okay. All right. And that is my turn. Okay. Um, as Beza acts, Harland, you start thinking about what you're doing, but as you're doing that, the king is going to take a legendary action. Oh, oh, oh. Um, and, yeah. I told Excuse. you you needed a level. <laughs> um, so, you watch as the pumpkin reaches for pumpkins, the little ones kind of dangling and growing and, like, pulls them off and like bowls them uh one of them rolls towards the uh let's see one of them rolls over towards the group one of them roll he tosses one to the field and he pops one right next to beza and as those pumpkins hit the wall or hit a heart as a rock, they just crack and start glowing a little bit, and you watch vines growing out of them, and they all become high tyrants. Pie t oh my god, ama oh my <laughs> lord, oh my god. I'm delighted. <laughs> you see these, like, they're, like, walking around on these vines, but there's a bunch of extra vines coming out of them, and, um, uh, actually, one of them, that's the background. Um, <laughs> one of them is not so much a, uh, a beholder-looking thing, but one of them is just, like, walking around on vines. Um, I could also have called them begorders, but I thought Pie Tyrant was funnier. I, so. like, I like Pie Tyrant. Um, it is. It is. <laughs> it is definitely funnier. All right, so... Um, they... Uh, they emerge from the, um, from their little conjured state, and just, there's a lot of sloshing noises. They're clearly full of pumpkin guts, like, oh, that's gross. Um. Disgusting. And, I and I misnumbered, but it's fine. Um, so, uh, that is the... <laughs> Uh, that is the Pumpkin's legendary action was to conjure more minions from its body. Um, and uh, they like all sort of look at the Pumpkin and they do this little like weird bow thing. And then it just, he points <laughs> and like yells out. Um, Haru, do you understand plant? Does, uh, you speak to plants passively? I no? not passively. Harlan kind of does, but only the one way. Druidic and vegetapigmies about it. So no, okay. yeah, didn't think so. That's fine. Okay, Harland, your turn. Delightful. Well, now that there's a bunch more um, grossness on the field, um, changes what I had planned. Which is fine. This is fine. Uh, this is fine. Yeah, so, um, what he's going to do is just kind of like sigh, resign to himself, and like pop the flask that's at his hip and take a mm -hmm. take a drag off the flask. Okay. 
looks back at his at his compatriots. Y'all ever seen a, a a pumpkin freeze? No. Yeah, me neither. And then he turns and just exhales a cone of cold. Um, hey. <laughs> So awesome. uh, I need deck saves from everybody within a 15 foot cone. Okay. A 15 foot cone. My goodness. Um, that's going to be. Um... Of course, the one thing I didn't do was prep a, uh, a 15 foot. Um, 5, 10, 15. And then I don't know how to measure that. How do you measure a fifteen foot cone? In inches. Thanks. Appreciate that. Um, I'm just gonna make a general call here that you hit the pi you hit the three pie tyrants. If you're angling that way, you can probably hit them. And then well, let me look. I wasn't ready. For spells. Ha. Ah, funny. Um one, two, three, four, five. Bex, six, I had that same okay. exact thought. Okay, okay. I see I see what we're doing. Okay. No no no. That's easy. Okay. So um so it goes this way from him and then here right. Yeah there no sorry I fixed that here and here yeah. would be the 15 foot cone mm -hmm. um, unless you want to move a little bit Harland yes to okay. better not get not get my Let's, friends in, in the cone deleted from the map. <gasps> um, I didn't mean to it's fine. I'm just trying to get a hold of this thing to get rid of it. Okay, so um, let's see. So you want to hit you want to get the pie tyrants in and ideally the king? I mean, uh, settle, just, for, like, settle for most like the, the pie tyrants uh, so maximum number. You could hit them like this. So if you moved over here, yeah. you'd hit all three. Great. Um, I'm just gonna, just for the sake of holding on to this, <laughs> I'm gonna put this over here so if anybody does a cone, I can, I can another do this 50 round for the next 10 rounds. Go, great. Go, go, okay, go. I'll remember, I'll remember the cone. Um, all right, so, uh, is it a, a bit save? Uh, yes. DC 14 decks. 14 decks, great, great, great. Cool. Uh, it's Dragon's Breath. Dragon's Breath. Cool. I just I just codenamed it um, after Uncle Charlie. That's mm -hmm. Uncle Charlie's Mystery Vapors. <laughs> I love Uncle Charlie's Mystery Vapors. It's such a great... Oh, adorable. All right. That is... A, what was the DC? 14. Two of them, so one and two make it, but three is not. Okay. So that's going to be uh, nine points of cold damage at full, and so that's four points at half, I think. Okay. All right. So you watch as this this frost just kind of bowls over the tyrants uh the two that uh that make it there's just a sheen of frost over them and they're just they don't like that and the one that gets massively hit, you watch as some of that frost just like coats and, and some of its vining just starts shriveling at the cold it didn't like that all right So it is the pumpkin's turn. So the pumpkin, uh, 
Pumpkin looks over at all of you, uh, very irate. Mm -hmm. um, pirate. Pirate. Pi Hilarious. No, that was Bonnie. You're a, you're a, you're a joker, you. Um, you uh, I will say. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know exactly what's going into. Um, um, I will say, um, Harland, uh, you. Um, I believe you bloodied Pi Tyrant 3. Nice. Well, cold damn. Nice. Christ. Kyle is the pun king. You are correct. Mm -hmm. um, the title I didn't claim. It was assigned. Alora. Well done, Alora. Well Amazing. done. Amazing. Uh, yeah, you just bladed it. All right. Uh, so the Pie King. Pie King. Pumpkin King. He's not Pie King. Uh, Pumpkin King looks up at all of you, and he... Okay. He reaches up, kind of like... Mm, I'm so sorry for this. He takes a bunch of the, 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 the squash <laughs> that is dangling from his mouth one of his mouths and he starts shoving it into his mouth and starts eating it and then he just chomps a little and then goes As he, he, starts spit machine gunning. he starts machine gunning uh in a 60 foot cone wow amazing at all of you so everybody needs to make me a dexterity save wow. dc Please? dc 15 that's five <laughs> Dex save. We have twelve yep. rerolls. You do. Oh my god, I'm gonna use one because that was a nat one. Whoops. Yeah, Oops, I that, also rolled a, a nat one. I am also going. <laughs> what okay. the hell? I didn't oh, double roll a nat one, one, so I'm not going to Yeah. I'm I'm gonna Everybody use my dice. Happy. I used the dice roller on D and D Beyond, and apparently that was a bad idea. Everybody's happy to have you reroll. <laughs> Thanks, Alora. <laughs> and that so one's a nat that? twenty. Nice. <laughs> hey. Okay. Nice, nice, awesome. Nice. So, um, with a, just so you know, my general rule is the rule with a nat one saving throw is that you take the full damage, but then you're knocked prone. That's usually all I do for a nat one on saves. Oh, is that all you do? Okay. I could do double damage, but I won't. <laughs> well, I mean, there's no rule. There's actually no rule. It just says no matter what you fail. Um, then the nat 20, uh... We're going to say you take half. So, Beza, you take 10 points of piercing damage. Uh, everybody who failed the DC 15 check takes 20 16. points. Cool, cool. 16, cool, 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 you just cool, cool, made it. Cool, 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 so, cool, cool, cool. you take, you also take half. So, you take 10. Cool. Did you say? I, did they get any kind of, like, cover bonus <laughs> for being behind me as a large creature? Or is he too tall? He's taller than you. He's huge. He's like over you. So, did you say the there. DC was 15 or 16? 15. Thank you. Only it passed with a 16. That's what, that's all that was said. And Harlan got a 15, so that's why it matters. Just, Ooh. yep, yep, yep. Yeah. 10 points of C damage. I'm, I'm fine. I'm piercing fine. I'm damage. Fine. It's piercing damage. It's fine. And then, let's see if he gets it back. And, all right. Um, that is his special attack, and that's all he does this round. Um, so yeah, he <laughs> just shoots out speed seeds. You all just hit the deck! Um, oh, I forgot to roll for Valene. Oh, buddy. Uh, Valene did not pass that, um, oh, so no. Valene takes 20. So he's super successful at it. Mm-hmm. Um, if only it was a skill check. Yeah. All right. Next up is Paru. You're next. All right. So Paru looks up at this king and is very pissed off. Um, Understandably so. And you said it's a full moon, right? Mm-hmm. She looks up and 
throws a hand up to the sky and calls a beam of moonlight down directly nice. into the pumpkin. Uh, he needs to make a DC con save, uh, DC 15 con save, and if he is a shape changer, that saving throw is made at disadvantage. Not a shape changer. Damn, I thought he might be just because of where Pumpkin, but you know, he was worth a shot. Oof, 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 oof. What save? Uh, con save. 28. Okay, okay, so he'll take half. So that's fine. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. So he will take... Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, good on that. Nine points of radiant damage. Ooh, nice. Instead of eighteen points of radiant damage, look and that's at, just look at gonna a variety of damages. Sit there and stay on him because I'm gonna concentrate on it. So and... there's so there's the cloud of daggers and the moonbeam just yep. right now. Yep, yep, yep. Good, mm -hmm. good. Um, All right, cool, cool, cool. When does he take the cloud of daggers damage again? It's the beginning of his turn. If you oh, had already would have taken it. So what? What was the? Uh, what was the? Um... So it was 14 points total, but it's not when I cast it. It's when they start their turn there. So if you've already deducted the damage, oh, you don't have to do it. He's already taken it. Okay, yeah. then I'm gonna I'm just gonna move it over so I know where when it happened. Okay. Um, and then I have a I have a little calculation that's happening. So. She is going to, uh, as a bonus action, not do anything because I just realized I can't. Uh, but she is going okay. to kind of stand over Valaine and, and try and guard him against the uh, eye creature. Okay. Yeah. He's just like, ow, fuck. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot something. Hang on. I'm a druid. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. I can do shit as... Hey, hey druids. Um... Mm -hmm. I... I'm not a circle of the moon druid. Never mind. That's my turn. <laughs> I forgot okay. about shit. Yeah. You're fine. Um, all right. So, um, then we have uh, Valaine up next. Oh, buddy. Um, all right. So, Valaine is going to pull out a sick beat um <laughs> and, uh he's going to oh, 41 up in this bitch right he is nothing if not fucking emo punk boy um all right he's gonna pull out a dagger and chuck it Uh, the th he throws the dagger, like has like in his hand, and just and it uh, lodges into one of the vines, but it's just like it hits a knot, and the pumpkin just <clears throat> doesn't even think about it, kind of tosses it down. It's like, oh, fuck. Um, uh, the vining that is in the uh, in the house starts kind of like pulling away from uh, from the house and it's gonna do a whip attack at Beza. Uh -oh. That's not gonna be great at all. Um, that is... Well, first it's garbage, but second of all, it's a um, 15 to hit? Nope. So yeah, the vine just, just like like a whip crack with its whippy tail, and uh, it misses. All right, next is the pie tyrants. <laughs> These motherfuckers. Um, all right, so uh, the pie tyrants all they also with seeds. Um, much smaller, though. A much smaller cone of them. Um, and... Actually, no. Only one of them's gonna do that. So, everybody may... Or, it's not gonna be a 60-foot cone. Uh, Pie Tyrant 1 is gonna, f is gonna attack uh, Paru, Harland, and Valene. So, I need another deck save from the three of them. Okay. 
15. 15, that'll make it. Um, this is a little less robust than the... Elaine fucking fails it again. Damn it. Um, Alright, so you take half. You're going to only take... You're going to take five piercing. Elaine's going to take ten. Not fucking doing great. Um, I mean, I think he's fine, but he's just, in general, not performing great. Um, and we'll have Paru roll. And then we're back at the top. So, Oliette, it was your turn. Uh, actually, um, actually, no, that's that's one high tyrant. I'm sorry. Uh, other one's going to make a bite attack against... He's going to... This guy's gonna come and he's gonna try to bite Beza, and this one's gonna. Actually, you know that one flies. I'm gonna go after Oliet. You watch as one of them just and gets very close and tries to bite you. Uh, that mm -hmm. is also 15 to hit. I mean, yeah, that's gonna hit. I'm a bard. Okay. I'm wearing um, tutu. It's gonna hit me. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> uh, you take. Um. Nine piercing damage. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. This this stinks. Um, and the other pie tyrant is going to uh, it's gonna rush Beza and make a vine attack. Ooh. Um. 24 hit. Yeah, that'll hit. Okay, uh, you take... You're gonna take 10 bludgeoning damage. And 3 piercing. I realized I needed to make con uh, concentration checks on uh, okay. the spell, oh, and right. I passed both. Okay, cool. Um... All right, uh, Pie Tyrants are done. Oliet, it is your turn. Okay. So, I am going to um, position myself uh, basically to the south, to the square that's to the south of the tyrant that just attacked me. Mm -hmm. um, so down here, so you're hovering above everybody. Yes, correct. I'm not moving okay. out of its melee because I don't want it to get an attack yeah. opportunity. But I'm trying yeah, to line yeah. up so that it's between me and the Pumpkin King. Okay. So you could go here. Yeah. Okay. You're still within melee of both of, of him, so you didn't provoke anything. Okay. Um, perfect. That is perfect. I am going to... Um... Uh, this thing is so gross, but I'm going to start hissing under my breath um, at this pie tyrant. Uh, and I'm going to say, I don't suppose that you've ever heard the one about the dragon that lay dormant until everything that it loved was threatened. Have you? And I'm going to exhale this massive cone of blue fire. And it's a 30-foot yeah. cone, so it should go over Beza's head and hit the Pumpkin King as well. All right. Yeah. So this guy yeah, so you're gonna hit and that guy. Turn two and the Pumpkin King. Yup, 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 So that is how much fire damage? 3d8. Is there any or just it hits? Uh, they make a deck save. Um, They okay. take half on a success. Um, The pot, uh, hi, the Pumpkin King take, or is... He rolls on Dex. Wow, he's got okay. Um, he's D14. It's ten from the Pumpkin King. Ooh. Um, and the Pie Tyrant is an 18. Okay, so that one will save. It takes half damage. Okay. Um, that's 15 points of fire damage. Pumpkin King or total? That's just 15. 15 to total. Damage. So 15 to the Pumpkin King, and I guess seven to the Tyrant. Seven to the tyrant, and that's number two. Yeah. Um. 
as the fire wreathes over the pie tyrant, um, you uh, you see that a bunch of its um, they're kind of dried vines. They're all kind of lighting on fire, and it's just <laughs> it's not happy. You have you have very thoroughly uh, bloodied that thing, um, okay. and the pumpkin as you attack. Um, you uh you see it uh it also really didn't like that um okay and uh again it starts lighting uh in different spots um oh. well yet with that bingo card of <laughs> things sorry. it's vulnerable to pretty I'm good sorry. it's pretty um. good don't apologize it's pretty good <laughs> I'm going to, for my bonus action, I'm going to, um, I'm going to, since Baze is in front of me and the most obvious, um, I am going to, um, I'm going to give a Bardic Inspiration die to Beza. Uh, okay. And I'm just going to start uh, really loud at the top of my breath singing, Giant Woman. <laughs> Awesome. So you get a D8. Awesome. And which things can I add that one to for your... Um. So ability check, attack roll, or a saving throw. Okay. And that is my turn. Okay. Uh, Beza, you are next. All right. Um, I mean... Same thing. <laughs> I'm attacking it three times. Uh, 22, 22, and 17. They all hit. Okay, then. Um, and then because I hit, I am also going to attack it with one of my runes. So you see Baze's left hand light up where the rune is as she's hitting with her sword, and I need a strength save, or the fiery shackles are going to restrain him. Okay. Strength save. Um, he's going to use his legendary resistance to succeed. Well, fine, then. So, he kind of pushes against them, and uh, he's got a like he's got the two clawed hands, but then just vines kind of push and uh, and help him to. It's okay. I made him use the safe. Mm-hmm. That you did. Sorry, math. No, you're fine. What is this? That's the combat music. Uh, twenty-nine plus eleven. 40. Total what damage? What kind of damage? Piercing. Alright. Damn. And that's it. That's it? Sure. <laughs> Is that it? Um, I mean, I could action surge. Uh, as you skewer through one of the sides of the pumpkins, like one of its heads, uh, you pull out and there's just more seeds and things just kind of um, pulling and and it roars and kind of stumbles a little bit as the vines reach out and latch onto things to stabilize it. Um, it um, has been bloodied. Harland. Harland, it's your turn. The pumpkin just got bloodied by Beza. I assume that was to me. Sorry. Yes, it was. Okay. Uh, the, pump the pumpkin just got bloodied. Nice. Nice. Um, yeah, uh, second verse, same as the first. Uh, I'll exhale uh, a cone of frost. Right. Um, uh, at this be, point, he's going to try to maxim, like, going to try to get as many of them in the cone as possible. Okay. Um, and it's okay if Baze is in the area. She can, she'll live. <laughs> I mean, probably, um, but I, all right, I'm so guessing it's see. sorcery points. Yeah, Harlan will, there, there's like a 
chaotic not... swirl of energy okay, around so Beza. Parkland, you... I assume you're going to make a move around a little bit then. To try to avoid hitting Oliet in this. Oh, no. I uh, Anybody anybody who's in the cone um, is fine. In the cone? Oh, okay. Then I'll put you back. My friends I'm will automatically still pass it. 20 feet in the air. That's true, too. Good call. Oh, there we go. Group. So you need to still need to come up a little bit if you want to hit the pumpkin. So let's say I don't think you'd want to provoke. Um, so whatever, whatever doesn't provoke. So if he gets um, um, OK. That's If it's if it's just the, okay, the pie tyrants, could, that's fine. Yeah, I think you're gonna you could hit the okay. If you just want to hit the pie tyrants, that's fine. And yeah, absolutely, you can hit them. Um, all right. So uh, Beza will also need to make a save here. She passes. Okay. Uh, what the fuck? Okay. Um, the pie king and or the pumpkin king and pie tyrant one roll nat twenties. Um, where, where are those? Where are those rolls when I want them to happen? Um, and then the other pie, or sorry, pie tyrant one and two roll that twenties. Pie tyrant three rolled a thirteen. Cool. Uh, it's it's nine oh, damage Raiders. again. So fail fail is nine damage and uh, four on a successful save because those ones keep right. popping up and it's great. It's great. It's so I great. take the save damage, right? Yeah, you take four. Four. I will say though, um, Harlan, as you do that cone of cold, even the one who saved, uh, you freeze them. Uh, two and three have been frozen, and as that freezing kind of seeps into them, the the um, the the lights of these faces that kind of kind of rotted into them. They're not really carved. Uh, they they go stiff, and then they just kind of and the pumpkin falls off the vining and just and they're just pumpkins um oh. so that was two and three so uh oh yeah the one the one i don't know it's also up so eh, fine we'll just say that one and two or one and three die i'll, I'll just run with it it's fine. um okay so one and three are yeah um, he did. Gonna flip him upside down, because he's definitely dead. Yep. Alright. Uh, good job. Yes. Um, um it, with, yeah, go ahead. Seeing, seeing the, the pie tyrants, like, fall off the vine when they mm -hmm. die. They're just uh, pumpkins. I, I think... Harland would just be with a farming background try to look and see if the pumpkin king still is attached to the vine. Um, he has vines coming out of him, and uh, give me a perception check. Okay. Um, it doesn't feel important enough to use that. So yeah, uh, a seven. Um, there's walls. So you can see like vining kind of coming off of him, but you can't see if he's connected sure. to the uh, to the garden. Um, all right, Home King's turn. Since he didn't get the seeds bit ability back. Shucks. Uh, darn. All right, he's gonna make. Yeah, he's gonna make a. Can I just say it was the best name for an ability ever to gourd. He's going to do a gourd attack. Nice. Um, uh, he is going to... Uh, how far is the range on that? Gourd is... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just picks a pumpkin out. Sees you, Harlan. Just overthrows. Like, just baseball throws a pumpkin at you. Um, and... 
That is... Oof, uh, 15 to hit? Uh, yes. You take 28 bludgeoning damage as and a pumpkin just beams you in the face and goes... Uh. It's like that scene in Beauty and the Beast with the snowball. <laughs> Sorry. Except with death, it was involved. Yeah. Well, you're mm -hmm. just unconscious. You're... Um, <laughs> the pumpkin near you is uh, dead too, so... Um, so yeah. You're down. Um, and the pumpkin just kind of burgles and grunts in a satisfaction uh, as that happens. Um, and then it makes its second attack, which is just to kind of try to slam Beza. Um... Uh, 20 to hit. That hits. Oh, uh, you take 17 bludgeoning damage. Beza does look bad now. Yeah. You're starting to see her stumble a little and uh, not look like she's feeling so hot. Okay. Um, Paru, it is your turn. Okay, um... Haru, let's see, so it, it needs to make its on well, nature to move and actually move the room. Oh yeah, it was the pumpkin's turn. So it yes. took another yeah. it's more of the 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 Yeah yeah yeah. So it takes the same fourteen points. So while yeah. it was doing all of that, it was also kind of swatting and groaning against all the blades, and so more of it was sort of cutting in. You see more vines kind of falling. You see some of the little pumpkins just falling off it as some of the vines attaching them are getting slashed up. Um, and it is not liking that slashing damage. Um, it also needs to make another con save because uh, the it was still in the moonlight, the moonbeam for it at the start of its turn. Um, that, oh, wow. The 12 on this wasn't very good. It looked like a rolled a one. Um, it rolled a 18 con save. Okay, so it takes eight damage. Eight radiant? Eight radiant. Um, uh, let's see here. Doesn't like any of this. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Um, she's going to kneel down and cast Cure Wound on Harland at second level. Um... <laughs> Get. Yeah, let me roll it. There we go. Uh, wow, that's really terrible. Uh, for seven points of healing. Thank you. Other than nothing. He's um, up. Oh, that was healing words, not Darling. care wounds. I'm so sorry. Please, I oh, cast the wrong spell. It should have, I was wondering why. That's fine. You back down. Here we go. For eleven points of healing. There we there go. Even better. Yeah. I was like, that's really that's weird. Better. I will take it. Um, and that is all she can do for right now. Okay, that's her turn. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Par. You're welcome. All right. Unfortunately, I can't heal more than one person um, at the time. <laughs> um, I don't have a... I don't have an image for the vine that is attacking, so let's see if I can... Let me see if I can find it. Um, uh, yeah, we'll do that. Um, so yeah, you uh, you watch as some of this vining that's attached to the house and kind of trailing off towards the garden does another, and tries to hit Beza again. Um, fine attack, fine attack. Um, 18 to hit. That does hit. Okay, you take, um, 10 bludgeoning and three piercing. Okay, base is down, because I didn't have a whole lot of hit points left. Sorry. Okay. 
No, it's no, okay. It's fine. So, so you, so Beza gets like smacked across the face, and you watch as she shrinks as she kind of like twists. Do you shrink when you go unconscious? I assume. I would guess so, but it doesn't actually yeah. say. We'll just say. Um. So Beza gets uh, sort of like smacked and twisted around, and uh, and as she hits the ground, uh, kind of. Uh, she, she, she doesn't she, get she, back up. Well, yeah, it doesn't say. It just says it lasts for a minute. Okay. Then, by by all means, I'm, I'm more than happy to have it stay that way. You're just big and unconscious. Sure. Uh, I'll we'll look into it later, but for now, I'll just say you stay that you stay that big. Um. All right. So I'm gonna turn bait uh, over. <laughs> Um, so she's prone. Um, all right. It's Valaine's turn. He's been doing great, let me tell you. Real good job. Um, I believe in you, sport. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Um, he is going to he's kind of like racking his brain um um sort of uh fidgeting with uh with his hand as he's trying to think of what the hell he's gonna do and um he reaches down and uh where did we get there's our loot and shit There you are. That's what I wanted. Okay, so um, he is going to pull out of his hand a roll of duct tape. <laughs> um, and he is going to rush at this thing. And as he's running, he's going <laughs> like pulling duct tape with his teeth. Um, and he is going to... Uh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Sorry, I have a list of the ones he grabbed, and I'm just trying to figure out which one he did. Um, okay, sure, let's do that. Um, he reaches up and grabs. Uh, like reaches for one of the uh, the pumpkin's claws and like wraps a bunch of the duct tape around it and just kind of like he's kind of holding on a little bit um, but he wraps um, safety tape around it and that hand cannot deal damage nice. it is incapable of dealing damage when that uh, when that is on the edge of it um, and so he uh, he disables one of its uh, one of its claw attacks um, nice. until it nice. decides to get out of the tape. Um, okay, so uh, Valine also, by the way, not looking super great. He's like definitely like bleeding from multiple seed wounds in his face. Um, he's just been scratched up a little bit, and and he's he's definitely a little like loopy, which is why he decided to do this because he was being dumb. Um, all right, high tyrant, last high tyrant, um, up near you, Oliet, and uh, it stares at you as it sees all the other creatures near it, um, and let's see, it's going to like it's. Okay, it doesn't have a jaw. We know it doesn't have a jaw. But it's going to unhinge its jaw a little bit as some of the, its mouth gets really big and it tries to bite you again. Okay. Um, I know this is a terrifying monster, but I really can't help like feeling like it's just a soft, like it's gumming. 24 to hit. Um, Of course it's going to hit me, Angela. Smartass. <laughs> You're the smartass saying it's gumming you. But like, how? I don't know. I'm having a hard time visualizing the teeth. 
they're like vining, we'll say, that's like kind of coming down, so it's sharp mm. bark kind of material. It's like that um, on the edge of the, it, the dried it, husk. It it's jaw. Oh, that's rude. Um, so, uh... Y'all, okay. You need to, I need you to make me a DC 16 strength save. Sure. Mm. I'm really good at strength. Mm-hmm. I'm really, really good at it. That's a three. Um, the, the pumpkin eats you. Eats you're me the, whole? You're okay. the pumpkin. Okay, all right. You're oh, trapped no. inside the pumpkin. Yeah. Um, you are blinded and your speed is reduced by 20 feet. Um, you cannot jump. So, so it chomps you and it, you're heavy. It can't lift things. So as it chomps you it goes and it hits the ground ow um, so you are inside the pumpkin trapped on the ground you can move but only by moving the pumpkin <laughs> um, but your speed is reduced by 20 um, you can't jump as you can only move by rolling around inside the pumpkin um, uh, you cannot be targeted by you cannot target or be targeted by anything outside the pumpkin okay. um, and yeah okay <laughs> Okay. Did I take damage from that? Uh, you took... <laughs> you took 10 piercing damage. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, uh, okay. Well, you can't see it, but I don't look great. Oh. Oh, God. So the pumpkin is no longer... So both ba- uh, the Oliet and the pumpkin are n- no longer um, flying in the air. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, it's great. Cool, cool, uh, great. Ironically, great. Cool, cool, well, yeah, cool. it's your turn. So, what would you like to do? <laughs> Question. Yes. Uh, consumables. Are, is that a bonus action? Or. You talked about the brownie. Oh, no, I wish. Oh, no. oh, my God. Okay. It's like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just in here. I'm going to get high, no, man. Listen. <laughs> bonus if it were action for you. There. I'm going, I'm going, um, Matt Mercer rules, uh, bonus action to take it yourself, action okay. to feed it to someone else. Okay. Well, uh, I am going to pull out the potion that Pinball gave me. Okay. Um, and none of you are going to see this, but I'm going to pop that baby and drink it. So I get 44 awesome. plus four temporary hit points. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, um, so 13 temporary hit points. Nice little buffer. Uh-huh. Just in cases, you know. <laughs> um, and it does have another effect, but I'm still inside a pumpkin, so I guess I'll wait. <laughs> okay. Good stuff, good um, stuff. And I am going to... Oh, that is my bonus action. Uh, then... I will... Do you will... have to concentrate for Cloud of Daggers? Oh, shoot, you're right. Oh, shoot, you're right. Con save. Uh, I'm gonna... You can take a reroll. You got How many do we have left? You got ten. Yeah. Okay, I'll use, I'm gonna use one. That was not good. Uh, Angela. So you took ten oh. points, so you have to roll ten or better. Okay, that was a nat 20 on the die. So, right, 21. Yeah, you definitely hold on to it. Okay. Question for you, Angela. Cool. Yes? When the pumpkin fell, that's yes? roughly... 10 feet in front of me where it landed there, right? Huh? I'd like to use um, my that's not the pumpkin. That's not the pumpkin that fell. Additionally, right here? That's on the one with uh, this that's... one. It's, yeah, it's 10 from you. I yeah, guess. it's 10 from me. Sure. Um, we did fall 20 feet out of the air. But that's the limit before you start taking damage. Ah. Oh. You don't take damage at 20. As oh. my reaction, I would like to do my uh, Halo of Spores attack on this pumpkin. Mm. Uh, and sure. do some necrotic damage to it since it awesome. moved into a space within 10 feet of me. Hey. Nice. Cool. Was that the, does that have to roll anything or is it just an attack? I do need a con save. Okay. That was great. That was great. Good stuff. Cool, 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 cool. Um, 10. 
Awesome. Uh, you will take four points of necrotic damage as uh, I shoot spores out of myself, pinning it four points with them. of necrotic. All right. Um, yeah, That's it's not reaction. happy. You watch as you watch as the spores land on the pumpkin, and every time it touches, it just like rot starts on the pumpkin. It starts getting brown and wrinkly, and like starts sagging. Like now, spit her out before I make you into pie. <laughs> He doesn't like your demands. Say please. No. Wait, so, is the magic bird that... how it came to life in the first place? Oh my god. Um, god. That was my bonus action. Oh, I'm For so my sorry. action, okay. I no, would like to You'd... Misty oh. step? <laughs> and get the fuck out of this pumpkin? Okay. Hold on. Okay. Okay. What are the rules about? Do you have to see where you're going? Oh wait, son of a yes. ball sack! You have to see where you're going, and you are blinded. Um, All right, so you don't do waste the spell. You can do something else. Because I would say you'd know that that you can't. You have to literally be able That's to true. see the, the spot and like visualize it. Okay, then um, for my action, I'm gonna take my dagger and try to stab a hole through it so I can see out. All right, go ahead and attack. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Uh, 17 to hit. That'll hit. 1d4 plus 2. Uh, 3. 3 points of piercing damage. So, you stab, and little do you know you're stabbing right through the face. Mm -hmm. And and this knife just goes through. I'm making and it doesn't make any noise anymore. Word. You... You, you killed the pumpkin. Oh. <laughs> and the pumpkin just stops being... Here's the problem, though. The pumpkin, as it was, like, gnashing and gnawing, just turns back into a regular pumpkin. You're still inside it. Your hand's just sticking out of the pumpkin. Cool. <laughs> but you are no longer... You're safe in the pumpkin. You're no, you're you're no sure. longer... You're no longer having the problem of being trapped in a sentient pumpkin. You're now oh. just trapped in an unsentient pumpkin. Gotcha. You had three hit points <laughs> left. You did just what you needed to do to kill it. Amazing. It. Um, the hand that punches out of the front of this pumpkin is bright purple, by the way. It's like giving off this weird kind of almost phosphorescent pink glow. Ooh. Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot what this thing did. Yeah. Um, okay, so, did so um, Beza, it is your turn. Uh, give me a... I'm coming, uh, Beza. Give me a deck save. I'm coming, <laughs> Do you want me to just DM it to you? Yeah, just DM it. Right. Okay. Um. So then it is Harlan's turn. Okay. So. The you... Pumpkin King is no longer a Pumpkin King, correct? The Pumpkin King is still a Pumpkin. King. Oh, the pu he, the Pie the Tyrant. Eaten, ate. He got eaten. Yeah, she got she got chomped by the by the Pie Tyrant. Oh, I misunderstood. Okay, so You're fine. It, it's what's what's dead, but still she's still it. inside the Pumpkin. Uh, well, good. It's nice and dignified. <laughs> <laughs> so since the first one didn't work, whoa, what are you doing? Thanks, browser, for zooming in right now. Oh, right, it's because it's over here. here. Um, so what he's going to do is uh, kind of hold out his hands in front of him and concentrate. And uh, I think you should stop it now. And... Uh, cast what he calls stop it which is chaos bolt so i need to make a uh -huh. ranged spell attack okay. and i will give myself uh i will yeah I, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and give myself advantage even though i d uh, don't need it uh using tides of chaos okay which, of course mm -hmm. is your mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll just uh, put a note. Well, that was uh, the second roll was a two, so I'm going to stick with the 23 I rolled the first time. Okay. So that's that, and then I roll. Uh, 
so it's a total of 10 points of damage, but it's broken down as um, uh, choose one of the uh, it's a uh, force damage so 10, 10 points force. of force damage awesome so just get this like chunk of pumpkin going everywhere it's like somebody hit it with a hammer kablam all right uh, and yeah that's uh that's his turn. Awesome. So the Pump King has this fucking changeling hanging from a duct tape roll. Um, and doesn't feel good. Bays is down. And he's going to turn and run. Uh, he needs to take to make his con save first because he's in the movie yeah. still. Okay. Con and save? he's still on the cloud of daggers. Yeah, the con save is 20. All right, so let's see here. 9, 7, 16, 8 points of uh, radiant. Points of radiant. And then the cloud of daggers is the same, 14. And then more slashing, and as he... As he turns and tries to hop over the fence, that those cloud spectral daggers just, he pushes through it and just one of the pumpkins on top just kind of gets cut off and rolls. And he trips over the fence and just face plants into the pumpkin patch and just crushes half the wooden fence and a bunch of the pumpkins explode as he falls on top of them. You just hear the biggest just crunch as all of these pumpkins get smashed underneath the destroyed form of the pumpkin king. Hey, Olia, you didn't see it, but you got the kill. Oh. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, yeah. Those that those two oh my God. the beam and the and the daggers, those were just those were the ones that were just tearing into him every round. Ooh. Um and yeah, so the um the pumpkin smashes and you watch as this like cold blue light kind of starts like dissipating out of the pumpkin it's kind of spectral uh spectral Cast light detect magic yeah and see it. if um like what what the maybe the nature of the magic is okay. he's tapping into his furbolg nature to be able to do sure. this uh oh i, Can I punch my way out of this pumpkin here. Please. Well, it's very convenient in the sense that um, I was going to just make Harlan do a thing. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. This technically isn't a spell. It's a it's a, a racial ability. But uh, I'll roll with it if, you, if you're so inclined. I'm guessing Noted. someone donated to the chaos. Noted, Lane. Thank you. No. No. Not chaos. Not chaos. Not chaos. Delightful. Just, uh, for later. Delightful. Just someone for later. Um, while Harland is doing that, uh, Paru is getting Beza up and casting Cure Wounds. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Once I get out of this fucking pumpkin, once that happens, uh, I am going to despite being um, partially in a rage because I'm covered in pumpkin gunk and seeds and disgusting. <laughs> it's all in my fishnets. It's like goopy and stringy. I'm so upset. Uh, but I am going 16. to... Does Valaine still look cruddy? Oh, Valaine, yes. Valaine is pinned <laughs> under the corpse of the uh, pumpkin king like attached by duct tape. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, and... and... <laughs> Um, and it takes a second, but you see as he pulls the knife out from his hand, he's just like, 
I'm coming, I'm trying coming. to cut the duct tape. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> There's vines and stuff, just all- he's like basically trapped in a little, uh, oh vine God. cage. Just... Great. Um, I will, uh, cast Dissonant Whispers. Um, actually, I'm gonna do Vicious Mockery. On who? On the lane. Okay. Um, as I punch my way out of this pumpkin, I am, like, mm -hmm. glowing bright purple because my eyes and, like, wings, everything's glowing pink from this potion. So yeah. I step out of yeah. his pumpkin, um, and as I cast uh, Vicious Mockery, 2d4. Oh, that's not bad. Um, Valene gains seven hit points back. Thank you. <laughs> I love that potion so much. But the, <laughs> instead of the um, string of insults, <clears throat> it's just like this kind of telepathic, like, you did good. You did good. You watch him just slowly, slowly peel his way out of the vine. Yeah. If if Baze is up, she'll come over and help lift some of it off of him while she's still big for a second. Thank you, Baze. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Paru You're was, welcome. Paru is passing out hit points, basically to everybody. I'll take like, some. Okay, I got you. Um, yeah, hit Baze and the lane first for sure. Uh, Baze is already yeah, taking lane... uh, sixteen back from me, and I will do the lane next. Lane was at quarter. Raising. Oof. Raising. Um, Valane gets 15 back. 15 um, back? All right. Oliet, you get. All right, he's good. Eight back. Holding. You don't need to. Oh, okay. Um, I mean. Har Harland, how are you? Uh, not great. Harland, you get nine back. You Looking need, decent. Need another? Um, he's he's looking he's looking better. He's still like a little scuffed up, but he's not uh, he's not bleeding. Take right another seven. We need to buy more healing potions. <laughs> Beza, how are you looking? Thank you. Um, she doesn't look good, but if you try to heal her, she'll have you hold off. We don't know what else is going to happen right now. Give it a second, just in case. Yeah, you're, um... No, but she heals you anyways. <laughs> for, for five. You are our first defense against anything. So if you go oh down, we We've all go down. Subscriber. All right, that's fair. At some point, she shrinks back down. We'll go back to the regular view if you want. Oh, I've already gone back. I don't back. know if we're still in. Nope. Okay, great. Thank you. Um. Oh, thank you, Kyle. Got distracted by that, uh, by that request, <laughs> for, uh, by that uh, donation. Um, you, I'm on the tense thing because you're post combat. I do that, but also, um, you see that. Hmm. There is a little bit of um, fading transmutation on the pumpkins so you did see that the individual minion pumpkins seemed that they were sort of transmuted mundane pumpkins um as the spirit leaves um you you don't necessarily get any school of magic in particular but you do get a little bit of necromantic energies that indicate that this might be some sort of spirit cool well y'all i don't think i don't think it's a curse i i think it's uh some someone that's unsettled the uh 
it's a go it's a ghost uh, it's a ghost it's is, a ghost it is a ghost or was a ghost uh well that um it did the, seem like it was uh uh traveling i, I mean it's uh obviously he uh, mamma did say that he'd come back um probably the next full moon so it it is a ghost and it's a uh, it was he it was heading off in, in that kind of pointing towards a small village oh great Did we follow it i mean it might not be a bad idea we won't well, be we... here the next time and i don't think if this ghost has some memories or grudges or anything of that nature i don't think mammon's going to be safe here in a month yeah agreed Wow, y'all, that hot. was a real big, intense thing I was right there. How y'all doing? So I good, man. Good pumpkins. You, you okay? Oh. Mr. Mammon, uh, the, the, uh, he no, he's a dwarf, he's a skinny dwarf. Uh, he kind of, like, wanders out. He's kind of, like, stepping over pumpkin mash. <laughs> ah, oh, that's real fucking gross. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. You got yeah. it by one. Uh, you, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm I still think... picking the like strings <laughs> out of my hair. Oh, let me help with window. that. Harlan, to come over and start like pressing, digitating as much as he can, even mm -hmm. if it's just like. Oh, get, mm -hmm. get it out of my hair! Get it out of my hair! <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, I don't want to like get my fingers tangled. It's gonna be. Oh my god! Right <laughs> uh, delightful. <laughs> Carl will uh, go over them. to Belaine. Are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Do you need some more healing? How many fingers am I holding up? Two? <laughs> he's got he's missing he's missing the middle ones. <laughs> you should. Hmm. He still looks kinda a little like banged up, but but he's but overall he's he's fine. He's three fourths healthy. He's, he's good. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm good. You, you called the moon. That was badass. Thanks. He starts trying make... to peel the duct tape off the thing. Come on. Um, are we gonna do this now, or? I'm just making sure it, everybody's healed. Before we go running off after a spirit. We don't have to, I guess. I just... I, well, I'd rather settle the business. Oh, Agreed. Man. Why? Not... I, I'd feel bad leaving. Oh. Well, but we also got the... Twins. So. Yeah. Well, we could take an hour and just chill out maybe um i'm at less than 50 percent, so i'm gonna t i would like to take a short rest if we can I, would you like some more healing no save your spells in case we need them all right i i'm not i'm yeah, not you can come inside if you want um i'm gonna i'm gonna get i'm gonna get a drink is there is there like a uh, an inn or tavern down in the village over there yeah yeah there's there's a uh, bar at least y'all i might I might saunter on down. I'm feeling pretty. I'm feeling pretty peckish myself. And uh, I got I'm... tons of booze. There's five. There's five clock somewhere. Uh, yes, that is that is the case. But it's uh, I'm I'm feeling oddly hungry, uh, even though uh, we just. I got food. I got tons of food. You want? I mean, you you really want to want to take it to the to the pumpkin? Um, I got pie. Oh you God. know, it's after after you know. Uh, I just I got a stretch. I got to stretch my legs a little bit. Uh, I just wanna I just wanna kind of okay. saunter on down. So don't don't you worry don't you worry none about me. You? Uh, right, be, you just go I'll, mosey there. You just yeah, go I'm, mosey. I'm just gonna mosey. I'm gonna I'll, I'll go. You're not you. gonna go by yourself. I'll go with. I'm not no. gonna get in any trouble. I just wanna go to the tavern. I'll, I'll go with him. Don't worry about it. Follows us. Okay. Uh, Valaine nods to you, Parley. Like, yeah, give me, give me that. And, uh, he, uh, Valaine marches back inside to go check on the kids. It's fine, don't worry. Harlan won't steal this girlfriend, too. 
I did not say that in character. I did not say that in character. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I'm glad you clarified. Because there were many corrections that need to be made to that sentence. <laughs> that Just was... for the record. That First was... of all, we never put any labels on it, okay? That That's was not, how that was not at all in character. We didn't put any labels on it. <laughs> <laughs> I was being a First shit. First of all, I was being oh, a shit. Oh, God. Salt uh -huh. in the wound. Sorry. Instead Ooh. of on the rim. Bro, Mar margarita. Pie spice Mar on the wound. Mar <laughs> <laughs> no, Haru is not that mean to have said that in character. At all. All right, so, so, um, so Paru and Harlan start heading down to the little village. Um, Valene is heading inside to check on the twins. Um, Beza and Oliette, what are you doing? Uh, Mr. Mammon's also heading back inside, just yapping um. Valene's ear off about he's got pumpkin pie and uh, sweet uh, sweet potato pie, but it's really just pumpkin again. <laughs> um, I got pumpkin spice lattes. Um, if if we're good. taking a rest while they are checking on things, Baze is gonna use some hit dice. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Um, I don't. I. I guess I. I don't think Oliette's gonna go inside. It's probably gonna hang outside and wait. Okay. But still resting. Yeah. So just um, hang out. Okay. So we'll say that um, probably takes about 15 minutes to walk down to the village. Um, which is called have a name for it yet. It's called Um it's called uh it's called Rost R O S T And uh, as you go to the village, you see that it is um, also on the water, that 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 river stream. Um, and you're you're leaving that sort of swampy space, um, that marsh area. And the um, uh, the village is pretty small. It looks like maybe there's just a small grouping of buildings, and then as you look beyond, you see a a bunch of like. Um, properties, like farming properties or or herding properties more more often than not. Uh, there's definitely some there's definitely like a herd or two out in in the fields just grazing, even if it's night, there's there's like goats and stuff. There there's never there's big sorry, big herd because you would imagine you'd want something that eats a lot to deal with the way the vegetation grows around here. So there is a lot of, a lot of animal grazing here. Um, and uh, the town is very clearly set up with a, um, what looks like a bar, there's a tavern. Uh, there is a, maybe what looks like maybe like a courthouse or something for like law. There's a, um, there is an, a uh, couple of a uh, couple of smaller houses, like townhouses, people that live in the village, a few shops. Um, but it is the middle of the night, um, so nothing really seems open besides the tavern. Um, are you in fact going to the tavern? Um, yeah, just uh, after getting the the lay of the land. Um, is there like a like a I don't know, like a small village cemetery anywhere nearby. You walk around with Paru, you do see that there is, in, in the distance, a little bit past one of the farms, there's a pretty substantial, what looks like a very old 
cemetery. It's probably been here for many generations. Uh, definitely outnumbers the people currently living in the village. Cool. Yeah, then uh, after making a mental note of that, uh, we'll proceed to the tavern. Okay. So what's the plan? Ask around about crazy pumpkin spirits or... Well, I, I don't know. I was thinking if, if it keeps coming back every month on the full moon, uh, I, I sure don't know a lot about all the spirits and stuff. That's more Oliet's business. No, I'm just I'm just thinking that there might be some sort of you know since I since I smelt a ghost, I figured that there might be somebody that's got uh, unfinished business or something to do with uh, with with pumpkins. Right. Or maybe, uh, maybe with uh, Mr. Mammon himself. So, I was just thinking that maybe we could get, you know, kind of, a, kind of a feel for Mr. Mammon. Maybe, maybe, uh, I don't know. Just to see what there is to see, hear what there is to hear. You know, yeah. well, I mean, the he said he inherited, the inherited the farm. What if it's his relative? unhappy that he had to pass it on well i ain't going to no graveyard this time of night okay there's there's liable to be more ghosts there you know ghosts can't necessarily hurt you right so there is a chance <laughs> I, I i don't want to take that risk okay that's, well we're that, just gonna leave it at that that Carla, that's okay we don't have to take the risk Ooh. Well, that's good. Now let's get inside where there's light and no pumpkins. Okay. There are no pumpkins that you can see. Um, that that was a poor choice of words. There are no pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> there's only the invisible pumpkins. Ah. Um, all right. So uh, you go into the uh, village or the the tavern. Um, and, uh, it is a tavern that I totally have a name for. Um, you gotta love that. The what Rost was the town's common name? House. What did you say? Rost. I said the no, Rost Common House. Yeah. What's the, oh, what's the town's sure. name? Rost. Rost. R-O-S-T. No, I like that. The Rost Common House. Good job. Thanks. So, uh, you go inside, and it is a small, quiet tavern. Not very, there's not, like, music or anything. It's just kind of chill. Um, there's a handful of people inside. Um, you see a, um... Where's my handy-dandy characters? Um... You see a uh, see a handsome human with a uh, um, big kind of kind of um, powerful guy um, behind the bar. Um, he's got blonde hair with a little bit of a braid, a bit of a roguish vibe to him, um, but but very um, very farmer built, like strong guy. Um, you see a. Um, you see a few dwarves, um, with, uh, with dark tan skin, and, uh, uh, one of them is a, uh, uh, the, the masculine one of the two is graying, uh, along the sides of his hair, um, and the, uh, the, the woman next to him is, uh, a little younger, looking a little, um, she's counting out, she's counting out coins. They seem like maybe they, maybe they're merchants. Um, and in the far corner, there is a femme presenting person with, uh, well, they're definitely the most striking, uh, person in the bar. Um, Elven, by the look of it, very pale. Um, black hair pulled up a little bit. They're wearing 
uh, they have a bl uh, black cloak over their um, over their shoulders, and they are um, they're just drinking in the corner, kind of minding their own business. They do kind of glance up though, as you walk in, kind of in the back, like I said, and um, they're sort of paying attention for a moment, but then they return to their drink, um, and the barkeep uh, barkeep looks up at you. Hey there, how can I do for you? Well, uh, my my friend and I here just kind of strolled in the town, and we is, uh, you know, we're hoping to visit the pumpkin patch once the uh, <laughs> once the dawn light uh, approaches. Uh, just hoping to settle down for you know a nice uh, it's a nice little town you got here. <laughs> well, thank thank you kindly, not mine. Uh, well, I mean, you're, you're part of it, so I mean, it's a, okay. it's a community, right? So ah, just, gotcha. Sorry, just mended it. I'm still working on the joke thing. Uh, not really my my forte. That's anyway, the, I've only <laughs> recently started branching out into it. Well, speaking of jokes, you you two wandered in here looking for the pumpkin patch this time of night. Pretty late. Well, no, that's why we're not at the pumpkin patch. It's because it's not on a full moon. Oh, you being smart. Fair enough. Well, found yourselves in a quite little secure place. Are you, um, what can I do for you for now? Something to drink or? Yes. So, uh, so, um, do, can do. Pop power, do you, do you want anything? Um, I'll take a drink. I think it'd be great. And then two of the house, uh, whatever, uh, whatever is your dealer's choice. How about that? Works for me. Well, if you're, uh, well, you're coming here to see the sights. I, I do have a pumpkin ale. Sure. I think I, I, I've, uh, I'll save the pumpkins for a later, for uh, you know, after I visited the patch, as it was, you know, more of a celebratory. Uh, no, not, not the pumpkin one. Thank you. Understood. Well, uh, well, let me get you. Uh, let me get you a drink then. Just uh, something off the middle shelf. I'm, I'm fine. You're sure, it looks like you only got two, but we don't have a specialty. Oh, well, all right. I mean, I'm I'm fine of a pint a pint of bitter, or you know, a nice uh, or red. Or, you know, any of the colors, really. Noted. I just, he just turns around. He's gonna, it, it seems like he's tired. It's a, it's it's late. Um, and there are still stragglers in his tavern, including you both, who have just shown up. So he's just like, mm -hmm, let me just get you. Yeah. And he, uh, he pours you both, uh, yeah, sure, he pours you both bitters. So is it a known thing, this, um don't go to the pumpkin patch on a full moon kind of stuff, or is that just hearsay that we picked up while traveling? Well, I sure hope it's real, otherwise I'm real worried about Mr. Mammon and the kind of noises he makes. Hmm. That doesn't sound good. Maybe Not he just so needs much. more fiber in his diet. He gets enough. Looking kind of weird at you. When all did this so, noises start? Has it always been like that? Or does it Yeah. Start? Been like that as long as I can remember. Hmm. Granted, I'm not, you know, I'm no spring chicken, but Mr. Mammon's been around for a while. Mr. Mammon and Mr. Mammon's pappy. Was it like that with his pappy, too? Do we know? Yeah. He didn't tell many people about it. He didn't like talking about it. Mr. Mammon, though, he's he's a box. So, uh, we'll say maybe last six months we all heard about pumpkin. What is it? The, the Lord of Pumpkins, or what is he calling him? Yeah. That's, I mean, that sounds like a, that sounds like a thing. It sure does. Well. So, I mean, how, 
So you say it's about six months that this has been happening? Or it's, it's, well, six uh... months we've known about it, known the specifics. Oh. There's always been, you know, superstitions about ghosts and, you know, shadow monsters. And well, well, it's, all uh... sorts of nonsense. Well, mm. not nonsense, but all sorts of... It's tomfoolery. It ain't nonsense, but it's tomfoolery, certainly. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, all men are tall tales. I mean, you know, people deep in their cups, you know, <laughs> uh, probably mm. liable to make up all sorts of things. Uh, you know, full moon, it brings out all sorts of interesting folk. The snipes are, you know, in full force. Where you two come from? Whereabouts? Oh, uh, we're... oh the... we're from that the way? mainland. Oh, oh that, oh, yeah. Oh. Welcome to the land of paradise. Thanks. I, uh... Says that very dryly. <laughs> I like your uh, your forests here. It's uh, very peaceful. Peaceful. I like the noise you that they stand it anywhere makes. for more than five minutes. Yeah, I like it. It's it's. Um, I guess uh, reassuring, soothing. The, the sound of nature growing is soothing. I see. Yeah. Well. Soothe them till you. Uh, but keep a keep a plot of land from overgrowing. That I can imagine is an issue. So, how long have the pumpkins been overgrowing over on uh, Mr. Mammon's property over there? Long as the oh, I mean, long as Mr. Mammon's had that property. I mean, all the Mr. Mammon's, not just current. So they've been they've been harvesting pumpkins for a very long time then. No, the island's been overgrowing for a very long time. Everything that grows here overgrows. I, I, I guess take I over. specifically how long have pumpkins been on that property? Well, they've been uh, they've been in business for easily a few generations, so a few hundred years. They they ever had any like try to have like hostile takeovers like someone try to come in and buy the property out from under them well, people don't have much aspirational intent around here just want to make a living no not that I know of so there's no one that you know would uh just a mammon run a foul of or anything like that anything silly that I know of. All right, give me a, uh, give me a, a pa uh, perception check. Perception. Uh, eighteen plus seven, twenty-five. Okay. You see, uh, you're, you're kind of around while uh, while uh, Harlan's having this conversation with the barkeep and uh, you start looking around at the folks in the bar mm -hmm. and uh, you notice a flutter of something in shadow um, underneath the table where that person is sitting that uh, pale elf is sitting. There's a little bit of a kind of in the shadow beneath them as they're they're noting you and then they go back to their drink. Um, Haru is going to excuse herself and walk in that general direction but also keeping an ear out just like she's stretching her legs a little bit and um, is there a obvious like restroom or anything? Sign There's a door outside to the back. There's probably like a like a outhousey bathroomy thing. Right, she's gonna get up and just kind of like stretch her legs and try and seem unassuming as she walks around in that direction, trying to figure out what that was. Okay, so you start heading that way. You want to. Um... You want to sort of more k 
carefully eye the bottom of the table. Yes. You are kind of yes, yes, good yes. height for that. Yes, please. Uh, okay. Um, what was uh, you wanna, as you get a little closer? Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and give me another perception check. Are you still you're gonna make your way out though as you're walking by. Uh, depending on what I see, that is a natural twenty for a twenty-seven. Okay. As you are walking by the table, you see a little, another little, like, like movement under the table in the shadow. And for a brief moment, you think you see a pair of eyes watching under the table. They're red. Kind of walking, you see you see a snout. And just really briefly, you see a pale hand, long black fingernails, just sort of reach down and like pet the top of whatever it is. And the red eyes kind of close a little bit and then they open again. They're watching you. Hey, bud. Why don't you go look underneath the table? See if, see if that's, that's a friend. She says very quietly to the fire weasel hidden in her hair. Okay. Great. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> so. Flush out the friend! Kind of climbs down. Are you going to go past the table or are you like just standing there going, go? No, I'm going to go, I'm gonna go past to... the table. I'm, I'm trying to be, you know. Sure. So, you start heading out, or you're like waiting. I I, I, I need to know where you are when you're doing this. I am <laughs> totally walking by, slowly about to open the door. Just mm -hmm. taking my time. It's tired. I'm. It's late. Just kind of. All right. You hear. You hear. Uh. You hear button. <laughs> Make its way under the table. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna like pause just outside the door. Like just outside the door? Go out, but then like pause and wait. Okay. You hear. And you see Button running back towards you. Mm hmm. I'll wait. Uh -huh. He he scrambles towards you. What's what's wrong, no. buddy? What's wrong? Panic just goes up. Uh, okay, she'll head back in. Pick minute. him up. Yeah, I'll pick him back up. And... So you're out. You're inside still. You're just at the door. Yeah. You. Uh, you're standing and you just kind of close it. If you have questions for me, you could just ask them. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I... And the elf is behind you. Uh, in the shadow. Sorry, I wanted to know what kind of friend you had, and I didn't want to bother you, and so I asked Button to figure out what was underneath the table. I'm, I'm sorry to bother you. I That was rude of me. I'm Paru. It's nice to meet you. Ravenovia. I, I missed Pleasure. the name. I'm sorry. Ravenovia. Oh. Pleasure. Pleasure's all mine. Um, Your friend mm -hmm. did not make the best of impressions on Crucio. Button. What did you and do? you see in the shadow, like through the shadow, mm -hmm. a hound sort of slip out of the shadow, made of sort of shadow and smoke. Oh, Your what? red eyes kind of following, and he just sort of like stalks out of the shadow Sorry. like he was just in it. Sorry, Button doesn't mean any harm. He's uh, just uh, he's a little playful. Beautiful 
you beautiful companion you have. Thank you. So what brings you to what? Ross? All manner of oddities to be found in the evening, and especially with the moon as full and uh, temperamental as it is. Uh, it seems to be the case. Did you find anything interesting? Any ghost stories to be had? Ghost stories, no. Interesting? Hmm. A few. Anything along the lines of the great pumpkin lord? Is that why you're touring the pumpkin patch? For the record, Paru is all scratched up and is covered in pumpkin guts. Still. You never cleaned up? I, no, we left immediately. I think Harlan would have offered to, like, press okay. the digitate, okay. like, on the way. It was okay. a 15-minute walk. Okay, then if, yeah, then yeah. Then yeah. <laughs> In that case, yeah, she's definitely got... Oh my god. Okay, anyway. Uh, by the way, um, they were across the room from you guys. You weren't yeah, speaking was, super loud, but they seemed to have completely <laughs> ascertained what you were talking about with the barkeep. You know, you hear strange things, and then you want to check them out and figure out what's going on, and, you know. And and you have an excavation of the inside of a pumpkin. Oh, you, you said you were clean. Sorry. Yes, apparently. Okay. That's all right. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Gotta recalculate what information, what visual information I'm getting. Yeah. I mean, she is Paru, so she is absolutely stare barefoot and, you know, wearing her hat and strange mushroom goblin child um well yeah i mean uh, it, 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 scary ghost stories gotta come from somewhere and sometimes the truth is more interesting than the fiction though you're looking for truth here little one hmm that is actually yeah that is kind of our entire jam is looking for the truth what nature there is much truth to be found it depends on what you are seeking mm, seeking why what happened on the mainland why things went ass up the way they did seeking out why there was a giant gosh darn pumpkin spirit in the middle of the pumpkin patch that tries to try to eat us uh, and where it's coming from so we can stop it from coming she puts her hand up very, very confidently and quietly. Pumpkin spirit, you say? Well, spirit in a pumpkin. Yeah, um, I mean, the, the, the great pumpkin king, whatever it was, was we, I mean, we were already at the pumpkin patch as part of the problem. And it's the full moon. So this giant pumpkin thing came out and tried to eat us, but we stopped it. But then Harlan saw that there was some sort of, like, spirit or something attached, and it was kind of like disappearing off into nowhere so we went to decide to go find it and maybe see where it was coming from so that poor Mr. Mammon might be able to like take a break every full moon rather than having a giant pumpkin creature come and try to eat his pumpkin farm every every full moon and like they suddenly like these little tiny pumpkins that had she eyes puts her stuff. hand up again sorry we did not vanquish it well we thought we did we vanquished the um the corporeal form, but Harlan was able to see like some sort of uh, necromantic magic sneaking off into the direction of town. I thought Here. we should go to the, the to Rost. Yeah, I thought we should go into the graveyard and take a look, but uh, um, Harlan wanted to err on the side of caution. If you err on the side of caution, you will lose your opportunity. Exactly! If this is, in fact, some sort of spirit bound to the turning of the tides. Exactly. And you get me. You understand. 
She looks at you, they, they kind of lift an eyebrow, like. Opportunity only knocks once. Well, thank you, Haru, for your tremendous insight. You're welcome. Can I pet your Enjoy dog? your... Why did I not even prepare for that? Um... She looks, they look down to Kushiel, who's kind of just sniffing at the ground and Button's just behind you. Button, come on, baby, it's okay. She just, Ravenovia nods very gently. How tall is Kushiel in relation to Haru? Kushiel is like the size of a wolf, so like medium. Yeah, so he's bigger than bigger. me. He's a little bigger than her. Yeah. Yeah. She just steps up and starts gently petting. And then start it scratching. It doesn't the quite feel completely corporeal. Like there is like there is a bit of like you do feel fur, but then like once in a while once in a while like the fur almost kind of like like kind of threads over your hand in this kind of like smoke tendrily sort of way, but but for the most part, uh, corporeal. Um, and Kushiel looks down at Button again, this kind of almost predatory look in his eyes, and then you watch as Kushiel in this little burst of smoke, just and you see a black fire lizard mm. on the ground. Amazing. Amazing. Button, look! Button's like, nope. does not like it. Friend. Friends. Be good. Sorry, he's, he's fey. He's a little persnickety sometimes. You tend to be. Mm-hmm. And, uh, um, uh, Kushiel kind of, when you turn back around, Kushiel's back over you in the, in the wolf, in the dog form. Hi. His hound form. Exactly. Scritty, 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 scritty. Mm. Allows it. Harlan looks over, there's this giant hound dog, like, towering over Paru, she scratches it underneath his chin. Very much looks like a smoke hellhound thing. <laughs> is this outside or inside? Inside. inside. It's oh, like off to the side. <laughs> off to the side. Like, there's a little hall that would take you outside, like where the bathrooms are, and uh, and they're like over there. Paro, don't look now, but I think there's a ghost dog around you. Oh, he's... you're not near the book. We oh. are. We oh, are okay. not near the book. Okay. <laughs> I thought that it was just within yeah, 60 feet of each other. Okay. Within 60 feet of the book. Mm -hmm. Any of you within 60 feet of the book. Can so Harlan says it. that out loud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Can I help you? Because you? you're what? a good boy. Bartender passes you your beer. Y'all have a lot of... A lot of them ghost dogs around here. Ghost dogs. Yeah, that came in. Creepy as fuck. It still looks like a dog. It's just a little, a little blurry around the edges. Um, Haru, Kushiel disappears, like backs off a little bit and mm -hmm. like disappears into the shadow. Where'd it go? Just like the wall, like just, and it's gone. He's gone. And uh, Ravenovia says, Thank you once again, Paru. Enjoy your beer. And she walks out the back door. You had enough to go find some spirits? Possibly. You want a hand? And she kind of, they study you for a little while.
She doesn't say anything and she starts leaving. She has a little smile on her face. Harlan! Harlan, let's go spirit hunting, come on! Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> well, let's go do that. I think. I think so we you should probably. Uh, you, you maybe saw a little bit of the elf, but you mostly saw the dog. <laughs> uh, no, I'm. I'm more. I think. Uh, hey, hey, Harland, as you're having this existential crisis, why don't you give me a D nine thousand? Uh oh. Oh no. I mean, if you want to, you could take, you could like run back and grab Oliet and, and Beza and and, and the lady and stuff, and, and I'll just keep Novia, grab a Novia company, and, and it'll be fine. I love that I can just say D nine thousand. D nine thousand. Kyle's not even blinking at this point. <laughs> uh, that'll be. 69, 65. Hey, oh, so um, all right. Okay. It's gonna be good. It's good, good time. Good time. Good it's time. It's always good. It's always good every time. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's great. Okay. Um, so Harlan's wearing his hat, his overalls, his shirt. Does he have on? Uh, yes. Yes, I think he would wear shoes. shoes on? Okay. Do you have like, a, you have like an ascot or something? Yes, he does. All right. Ascot. All right. So, um, as you walk out the door, you feel a little like a little tight around the neck. As you step, as you step forward a little bit, it stops after a moment. And you're just like, hmm. And it's just a bare neck. Your ass cut's gone. Par, we need to go. A ghost dog just stole my ass cut. The ghost dog not... Ugh. Would you feel better if we went back to the others? Yes. Okay. You see, uh... You see Ravenovia just taking a step out, glances back at you. Mm. Are you not joining us? Or are you going to catch up? Um, Carlin, do you want to grab the others and catch up? And then, or do you? Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind walking back to the right. pumpkin farm all by myself. I'm, I'm only nine. <laughs> I would move quickly. We might be done before you get back. Yep, and he just starts running. Kushiel. And uh, <laughs> and Kushiel starts bounding <laughs> after Harlan and then just disappears into the shadow behind a tree. And make sure they know where we're going. Sounds good. Do you want that? Mm? And you and Ravenovia start heading towards the graveyard. Mm -hmm. Yep. Harland, how fast are you moving? <laughs> uh -oh, I'm booking it. There's booking a ghost it. dog okay. after him. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see that. It disappeared. <laughs> they will. Hence why he's running. <laughs> oh, that's fair. That's very fair. Um, so... Um, and, uh, yeah, so it takes you, we're going to say you booked it. So, um, it's going to take you about seven minutes to get back. Um, <laughs> Harl got a strange uh, woman in the bar and left with him. Yep. So we're going to fade back to the house for a moment. Um, I'm going to give you a moment, uh, and say that you were at the bar for a little while. Cause I, I do want to give you the short, I do want to give them the short rest. Um, so, Thank so you. we'll say you guys, it took a little bit to get back. You guys hung out at the bar for a second. And that's when, that's when Paru saw the dog and it all started. I'm just going to kind of hand wave it a little bit. So, Olya, you're out there in the pumpkin, like out outside the house, looking at the pumpkin patch. Mm -hmm. Um, 
All right. Um, Beza, you are um, inside with Elaine and the kittens. Mr. Mammon. Uh, Mr. Mammon is feeding the kids. Um, lots of pumpkin-based foods. Um, uh, Toshi asks for a latte, and Nick is like, nope. No caffeine for you. Um, <laughs> and uh, you do not notice uh, the lane slip out. Um, so, Olya, you are standing at the um, outside, and uh, you hear Elaine. Well, fuck. Um, thing really messed up the the old man's pumpkin patch. Is this okay. right after Harland and Paru left? I say it's a little bit after. Okay, I didn't know how long. Um, yeah. Okay. So yeah, I would have gone to the far end of the pumpkin patch, just furthest away sure. from the house. Sure. Um, and posted up and cast uh, dancing lights. And um, by the time they would have approached, I would have already had the book back out. Okay. Reading but, through it, or? Uh, well, I was going to reach out to the queen of the word, but once they start to yeah. approach, I'll probably just close the book because I don't want to. Sure. I can't save them from drowning, so I don't really want to start anything. That's fair. I can't so, yeah, finish. You close the book and kind of like tuck it away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You good? I mean, I'm always doing okay. So, I don't know what you mean. You got, you got, absorbed by a giant pumpkin. It's not like regular Tuesday. <laughs> or whatever day it is here. Oh, I just mean, you know. Harlan I mean, wandering off to go paint the town blue. Oh. I don't know. Are you implying that I should have feelings about that? Para went too. Correct. Okay. Um, Just checking. Checking what? Mm, nothing. I'm just sitting here minding my business. Are you I gonna sit or are you gonna be weird? When is when did standing get weird? Well, you're standing over me. It's weird. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. And he sits. Um. Are you actually okay? Are you okay? You all came back pretty quick, so. That's good. Um, I really wasn't sure how long. We would be gone. I'm glad we made it yeah, back months. quickly. How long were you? Uh, a couple weeks. Yeah. A week? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Um, I'm going to change the subject. Um, yeah. Um, no, I just mean um, in terms of Harland, I just meant that you, uh, you two seem chummy. Sure. Yeah, that's a word that you could say. Yeah. I, I, I did. Yeah. I'm not trying to make this weirder than it already is. Um, I just noticed and that's it. That's all. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I. I. There really hasn't been a good time. Um. To talk about it. I'm also still getting used to the whole telling people my feelings. Whatever. Um. Yeah. Messy. Boring. It's overrated. I really don't understand why there's such an emphasis on it. Yeah. But... Yeah, it's almost like communications, how you, like, not chase people out of your life. Oh, what that would okay. be like. 
You're hilarious. You've got jokes now and everything. Yeah, multi-classing into comedian. Oh, uh, okay. Well, yeah, I guess it's, um, I guess it's a thing. I, I don't know. I still kind of am surprised by it myself. Um, yeah, I mean, he's way too good for you. He really is. I openly admit it. That? He looks, uh, he looks a little surprised by that. Well, that's gross. Is it? There's no, I mean, there's no denying that there is a golden child in our group, and it is not me. Oh, she. Okay, there's two. There are two. <laughs> there are two in the group. Rad about the kittens. Um, yeah. I, I, ugh. Ooh, okay, let's just get this over with and we never have to talk about it again. Okay. Deal? I don't know what you're going to talk about, so yeah, but okay. Is, are we good? Are we good? I mean, yeah, we're good. Okay. Well, then... Yeah, um, Harland is really important to me. And... I don't know. I'm glad. You... <laughs> Sorry, it got real dark real quick. Um... I am glad that you have somebody important uh, that deserves well, you deserve each other. That was meant to be nicer than I think it came out. Uh, I think I, I think I get it. It's fine. Um, it's, you know, you're so important to me too. So, just I, so you know. I just wanted you to know that I was happy for you. Both of you. you, you Thank you. You got, you got something that looks, uh, well, not that I'm looking, not that I'm looking. It just, it, it looks It's nice. okay, everybody's looking. Yeah. It's something to see. Anyway, uh, just wanted to check in. That's not like you. Yep. I am aware. I'm trying to get better about that. Well, your turn. My turn. Yeah. I mean, Mr. Bam is a really nice guy, but I just don't think I have feelings like that for him. It's a shame. You could inherit this entire pumpkin dynasty. It's true. We could come I out here them. to visit you never. And uh, yeah. you could have like a whole, you could do a whole pyramid scheme with this. You could do pies. You could get into merch. You could do like haunted tours once a month. Can you imagine? Man, I really thought you were going to say murder, not merch. Um, That's my third favorite thing. But before murder is making money. Which you are doing hand over fist. <laughs> Out of any of us, at least. Yes, well. Somebody has to be the breadwinner. Really? Really? No, I meant... You know what I meant. You're not dumb. I am not. I... Weird. I don't feel... Yeah. 
Well, you're all my best friends. And I don't. Kind of, kind of hold your eyes for like a split second too long. I'm just not a. It's just not a thing I'm, I'm looking for right now. It's okay. But, but I don't, I, I don't want to, I don't want to hurt her. So I, I don't know how to. I don't know how to do that. So I was hoping just not talking about it. Would, would make it go away. Can and I give you I some remember, advice? Uh, you're gonna if I say no anyway, so yeah, sure. That's true. That is true. I'm going to anyway. So... That's... That should... That's stupid. Don't do that. Ignoring it till it doesn't go away? Believe me, I understand the appeal. But Paru deserves more than that. Yeah, I know. It's okay to take your time to figure out what might make you happy. Not a little. Aru is also one of the good ones. We have a healthy balance in this group. I think I think all we're saying is that you and me are the shitty ones. We are. Are are we okay. just the shit kickers? Are are yeah. we the luckiest? Yeah, Baze is fine too. She's good. Yeah, we're the shitty ones. Wow. That is information. Nick is is, is is deputy shitty, but but, okay, you know, okay, so not, it's not just not, us. We gotta fix that one, so. All I'm saying is that I don't think that I mean, I don't want to speak for her, but I don't think Paru will love you less. I don't think any of us would love you less if you needed time, space, but shutting us out is kind of how a lot of this shit happened in the first place. Moral of the story, blah, 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 blah you know. Yeah. I get what you mean. I'm trying to be better. Just kind of threw me, you know, giant pumpkin monster doesn't really, really prepare you for a uh, declaration of love. That was a bit, um, and then the house started caving in. So it was like a whole just yo-yo of, um, information. Well, yes. Uh, I would say it's shocking, but not surprising. Paru is passionate. still figuring a lot out just how to function I just I know and then the kids I just feel like I kind of makes a weird face like whatever he was about to say kind of surprised him say it I need to be around for them and not worry about anything else right now. I mean, whatever gets you up in the morning, that's... Sometimes that's all you can do. Usually the crick in my back from sleeping on the floor. Listen, I don't feel bad for you. Why, why would you feel bad for me? You have a warm, fuzzy boyfriend pillow. Oh. You're right. I do. 
it helps that the fur blends in so it doesn't quite show you know it goes with my general aesthetic I, I... if you're gonna be an asshole i can be an asshole back hey i i stated a fact and, and, so did I. and you you shared you overshared Oh, do you want me to continue to overshare? No, I really don't. I'm good. I'm, I'm good. You don't think I haven't seen everything? We hung out for a while. Like, wild parties, man. Like, just saying. Yeah. I know how to like, throw down. Yeah, you know, it occurs to me, um, I'm gonna have to probably watch my back the next time I am back there. If word gets out, I am going to be... Mm -hmm. Oh, whatever. Well, you be careful. All I'm saying is bitches to... fight dirty, so. You'd know. I would. Ask queen bitch, I would. Yeah, better watch out. There's a... Uh, maybe there's been a... A coup since your last uh, tenure. I mean, that would at least give me something to do. It does get boring at the top. He, um, the the smile fades really quickly um, as you guys talk a little bit too much about the book and he just sort of anyway um, they're uh... we'll have your pumpkin lattes we're good yeah I'm here if you need somebody to be shitty with always I appreciate that you're so welcome mm-hmm You just gonna hang out here? Till yeah. Till back. I'm just checking on things, but you'll probably be a little bit better off checking on the kittens. But if you would send Beza out when you right. go in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thanks. a little weird feeling like um I don't know kind of on the outside of everything right now not that I didn't I didn't kind of do this to myself so I I understand but you're not on the outside Elaine you are in the center of all of it we are orbiting around you right now because we love you. But it's hard to be the sun. You know? Nobody can get close. You have to tell me how it is sometimes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Go away. I love you. Go away. All right. See you around, sunshine. And he, uh, he turns around and heads back inside, trips over a pumpkin vine, catches himself. Ah! Fuck <laughs> off. And uh, he wanders back in. Um, Beza, I'm all yet with asking after you. All right. My accent. All right, yep. is she outside? <laughs> Amazing. Um, yeah, she's on the pumpkin. What the fuck is that? It's fine. Uh, it was. It was. Uh, a, so um, I, I forgot to tell you that um, that I secretly <laughs> had Beza roll on the magic table um, for a second, and uh, and Raxon just now. So. Oh, no, I was like, no, wow. that, that no, was that just, was Heather. She just <laughs> slipped into a different character for a second. I have um, had so much problems trying not to do Beryl's accent mm -hmm. tonight. It's been real uh, bad. Uh, Mr. Mammon's like, you sure you don't want any? Like, I got pumpkin pizza and pumpkin casserole. And I don't, I, I really don't need oh. to eat. It's all right. Just give it to the kids and they'll no, eat no, it for me. It's fine. I'm not allergic to it. No, fine. I'm, I got, um, I got french fries. I got pumpkin ketchup. This is gluten. All right. Um, I'll be right back. I'm going to go outside for a little bit. Oh, God. Yeah. No, she's like, I'll have more pumpkin cheesecake. Oh, I was at the pie, boy. I'm going to get you some <laughs> food, baby. 
Yeah, be careful. Pumpkin cheesecake is definitely always worth it. And, and it's all right. Oh. He's a growing kitten. He can have my share. It's fine. I'll, I'll be back. I promise. Hey, guys, stop growing. I'm gonna get stuck to the ground. I'm gonna uh -huh. move nowhere. I'll carry him. It's fine. Bonk, bonk. <laughs> it's the the Feline sits down and so she's like, oh my god, Feline, well, you have to try the pumpkin cheesecake. Sits down with them. Beza extricates herself from the food eating as quickly as she can. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, so Oliette's out outside on the far end of the pumpkin field. Beza will come over and sit down. So, you needed to talk to me? Is it book stuff? Well, yeah, I just didn't. I didn't think I should bring it up to Valine. I don't think bouncing this idea off of them is very helpful, but um, I wanted to reach out to the Queen of the Word to check on everything, but I don't... Is this a bad idea? You can tell me if it is. Um, you know, I'm not always the smartest in our group, so... um. I'm not 100% sure, but I think as long as you're vague enough, like you could just say something like, got any updates? She's going to know what you mean, but anyone else wouldn't. They might think we just mean, you know, something about training, or maybe we asked her to look into something else. They're not going to know. Okay. 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 Um, great. Uh, I'll open the book. Um, okay. But before I start writing, I will. I'm not gonna look up at Beza and make eye contact. But I'm gonna, as I like, kind of pop my fingers and get ready to start writing. I'm just gonna be like, Oh, I don't really know how to tell you this, but I think Harlan and I are dating. I just wanted to make sure that was cool with everybody in the group anyway. And I'm going to start sketching that, a letter. Was, was that supposed to be a secret? Not a secret. I just... <clears throat> anyway, I'm just making sure that it's fine. Everything's good. I don't want... Yeah, I don't mind. Okay. Okay. Great. Man. Feelings are easy. I don't know what... <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. All right, um, and I'm gonna start writing to the Queen of the Word. Um, and I think I'll just say like, uh, crisis averted, all is copacetic. Miss you and hope that things are well. And I'll just wait. You hear, or you don't hear, you see writing back. Relieved that you are all safe. I found a, I found an old copy of a book we used to speak on. The tale of Brom and the Nine Forks. Just thought I'd share. Made me think of you. Is Oliet smart enough to catch what this might mean? Because Chris isn't. No, it's not a reference you would know. It's something Oliet would know. Oh. Um, give me a <laughs> give me a history check. Okay. No, sorry, I was just you know, world building. <laughs> uh, anyway, okay, that's cool. Um, that's cool. History. Oh, <laughs> professional history with books. Oh my god, that's a twenty on the die for a twenty-eight. Oh yeah. Wow, nice. Nice. So, Brahm of the Nine Forks was a was a story. It was a, it was a it's like a mythology story um, that spoke about a 
um, a valley that had nine villages in it. And Brom uh, went around to each of the nine villages and basically acted as the arbiter of conflict between them. Like, would go around, talk to one village, figure out what's going on, then would go to the other and figure out what was going on, and then, like, talk between them. You get the sense that what she's trying to tell you is that she is currently asking for help. She's dealing with the disparate parties in this situation. Got it, got it, got it. I would ex I would explain what I know to Beza. Okay. So, seems Her Majesty the Word has at least found a code way to communicate with you. Okay. okay. So long as you roll decent yeah. on history. <laughs> That might never happen again. Well, that's um, good that she's looking into it. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I, um... You got beat upside the head by a giant pumpkin. Yeah. And I got swallowed by one. Mm-hmm. I don't know what kind of... What do you think happens to this book if I die? If we die? Hmm. I don't have a contingency plan. Well, I mean... Do you mean, like, does it disappear? Or do you mean, like, who's gonna take care of it? Both? I don't think it'll disappear because it was here before we were. Like, it was here in the library... That's true. At the reclamation center before we, the reclamation center before we uh, went into it, but I mean, if something happens to us, which admittedly is not impossible, um, I mean, we could tell the kittens to take it. We don't necessarily have to tell them to keep it because that might not be safe for them, but. We could tell them to take it and maybe get it to Pinball and hide it somewhere. It's not a bad idea. At least if they get it somewhere safe or if Pinball can get it somewhere safe, maybe he won't be able to get to it. It's not a bad idea. Or at least not easily. And I still have, you know, the thing. And she points at her backpack. That I'm just uh, not letting out of my sight more than I have to. I actually I left it with Nicket because I was afraid Toshi would try to actually look around in it. If I left we, it with him, we haven't. Do we think it's? Do we think it's still in the state that it was in when we wrapped it up and put it away? I mean, I'm not going to lie. I've kind of shaken my backpack around a couple of times to see if I can hear it rattling around in there. Um, Carefully, obviously. And not when Blaine or anyone's around, because then I'd have to explain it. But, um, <laughs> out of character, I'm assuming I still hear it in there. I, st I mean, I wrapped it up in something so it's not like it's, you know, crashing into the cookie jar and breaking it open, but I still hear it thudding around in there. So as far as I know, it's in one piece and hasn't turned, like, into liquid ink or something. I don't hear sloshing. I guess that's a positive. I mean, I also, it's wrapped in something and then it's in the cookie jar and then I sealed the cookie jar with as many, like, strips of fabric as I could wrap around it and protect it from cracking open and then that's all stuffed inside my backpack to the point where there's pretty much no other room in there so it can't really move okay I just didn't know if it was like a I think I'm just paranoid maybe but have you seen me take this backpack off except when we went back into the book no no I don't mean that you've lost it I trust that nothing at all will escape your notice and gaze, but I I just wonder if it's maybe I don't know 
I just hope it doesn't make whoever might be looking for that item a little easier to find us since we have it. I mean, by that same token, they could look for the book or if it's, you know, the it's person true. we think it might be. <laughs> Anything that Blaine has ever touched. I mean... I don't know how the magic works exactly, though. I don't know. I mean, we did live in the book for a long time. I remember... I don't remember who said it. It was someone who uses magic that isn't me. But um, they talked about how, like, items that have... Um, what's the word they used? Resistance? No. Resonance? Like, from people that touched it a lot? Mm -hmm. can sometimes help them find that person, so anything we left behind in the book could potentially help them find us. That's true. It's a good point. I just don't know the answer. Yeah. Do you, um... Do you think... I don't know what it would look like when this is all said and done, but do you think you might go back into the book? Where do you want to be I don't know um I haven't really thought about it I'm also not sure exactly mm, I don't know how to put this that's not uh awkward I don't know how long I have Goa what the books your uncle had it didn't really mention how long Goa last but I'm also not technically all Goa, since I was built with a lot of metal pieces too, so I don't know how that works. Uh, I don't know, I guess I kind of assumed that you were going to live forever. I mean, I might, I don't know. I know as much about Goa as you guys. That's fair. Well, I mean, I guess keeping that in mind, I'd probably end up in the book eventually, because I, since time passes so different there, it might not matter. But um, I don't know. I don't. Other than you guys, I don't really have family out here, so probably the book, depending on what happens. Mm. It's weird to think us about us not being together. It's hard to imagine. Yeah, I don't, it would be weird, but I mean, as long as, even if I was in the book, as long as someone out here, like one of you guys has the book, I could come back out and visit again. Timing would be very strange though. Yeah. I don't know, but, I mean, we gotta survive everything we're dealing with first, so, future problems. Right, right, right. We will try to not die first, and then we can mm -hmm. lament about our impending separation. Cool. Yeah, we, we've got time. I can't wait. <laughs> Delicious agony of being alive. Oh. As Oliet and Beza and Belaine all have short rests. Uh, Paru and Harlan do not. Harlan, you are. Oh, I yeah, I rolled that con check and I failed it. Um, oh yeah, uh, yeah. As oh, you no. run, you're sprinting. You're running. You're you're like, oh god, oh god, where's that dog? And you trip a little bit. And as you run, you keep running. You feel like, oh, I lost a shoe. Got to keep going. And you run. You run. And you run. And you run. Um, a couple moments later, you feel, well, you didn't trip, but you stop feeling your other shoe. And, uh, you keep running, running, running. And as you arrive, um, uh, out of breath at the farm, uh, you feel like your shirt is really tight. Like, and after a moment, 
it is cold. The air, the wind, what everything is cold, oh, and no. you do not have a shirt. Um, Oliet and Beza, you are seeing... You hear him, probably, before you notice him. You hear... <laughs> shadow dog! There's a shadow... There's a shadow wolf it's chasing me. Specific, yeah. uh, technically, it's a it's shadow dog. It's a shadow dog! Oh, it's, just, it. it's a ghost dog. It's stealing my clothes. And, <laughs> and all you, as you and Beza see Harlan hauling ass towards you, shouting about some shadow dog, you watch as his shirt is absorbed into his body. He just goes... <laughs> goes away. Harlan? Uh, well, he doesn't have his shoes on anymore. His ascot's missing. Is there's no time to <laughs> there's, there's no time to talk. Why was in danger? We got there's a ghost, uh, there's a ghost dog, and we got. Hoshi wanders outside, having heard Harland hollering, um, and Harland, you watch as the shadow hound Hushiel <laughs> emerges from the shadows near Toshi. Uh, and kind of looks you, know. you with red <laughs> <laughs> and Toshi just kind of freezes for a second and the and the hound just like turns like slowly stalks up to Toshi and it's like at kind of like face level it just kind of goes <clears throat> and just kind of like nudges up against Toshi Harlan's just like face down on the ground weeping. Are you sure it's Toshi? She's just petting him. <laughs> um, um, Harlan. Kushiel sure? just sits. Are you sure it's dangerous? It, it, ghost dog. It stole my clothes. <laughs> and... Your clothes disappeared into you when you got here. <laughs> Did you did you do one of your magic? Your things? stomach hurts, but it could be from the running, but it also could be because some random magic happened. Uh. Now that you mention it, I think I, I think I'll uh, I think I popped the magic bubble or something. I got a All little right. bit of gas. You... <laughs> oh, okay. God. Okay. 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 Kyle, no. on the pumpkin. God damn it. Kyle, no. The two of you, like, as, as Harlan's just like, uh, like, sort of crushed, weeping, you see his hat is slowly... <laughs> slowly shifting into his into his head oh, like his hair has started poking out of it as the hat gets tighter and just starts disappearing into his hair um it uh, takes a few moments for the hat to completely absorb you're really glad his pants were the fir weren't the first things that uh that went I love how I know exactly uh, how long the delay is in chat by the reactions yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, my god. Um, uh, oh and he's wearing overalls, so pretty looks much. Looks like you had a good time at the bar. One one hopes that the underwear goes first, but yeah. Oh god. <laughs> to give a little more time prepared to, or covered. I mean, I mean, it was the the, bit, the bitters weren't bad, but it's cold <laughs> and you're shirtless, Harlan. And your head's cold now. Your hat's gone. It got really tight for a second, though, and then it was gone. Oh, no. <laughs> What'd you do with puddles, you bastard? He's on your head. Oh, hell. Just, I just, thought you were gone for a minute. Not in the hat, just, just in your hair now. I, th I thought the ghost dog had gotten you. I don't know what I'd have done. Uh, all yet? 
You know what I, we were talking about earlier? You sure you want to do that? <laughs> are, you, are you sure? <laughs> How sold are you on this? <laughs> um, so, you get a moment. You're able to calm Harlan down. Toshi has started going, Oh, good. Give me a paw. Oh, it's a good boy. And, um, uh, and Kushiel's just hanging out. Occasionally glances over at Harland. Mr. Kind of like he's waiting. Mr. Mammon. Mr. Mammon. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? You want some pumpkin spice? I got. I, I got. We're, we're making some. Uh, we're making some omelets. Uh, no, I was hoping you might have a um, a collection of uh, handkerchiefs or um, a sheet or anything. I feel like we are about I mean, to need some fabric. I got linens. That's fine. I can help. Sure thing. Nothing you're married to, please, because you might not get it back. Okay. So less of a bar win, more of a more of a. I'm gonna take more it. Of yeah. A confiscating. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, yeah. more of a. Let's call it even for saving your entire yeah, farm. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Sure. Let's do that. Let's call it that. Mm-hmm. On, on that note, mm-hmm. uh, there's a, there's a graveyard that they have that they they got back there, and I'm I'm pretty sure the ghost went to it. I could be mistaken though. It was a really creepy elf looking sort. Uh that was kinda with the that one. And I think they were so she may have found a uh, a tickle spot. Okay, well that is Harland, kind of adorable, but do you see that elf right now? No they, <laughs> is they it were... with the duck. Or the, did it, the elf the... and the puddles come from the same place? No, it was, uh, I think the There's I pu- think the dog belongs to the to the elf, and they 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 were they were hanging out, and I think I think they were ghost hunting too. Oh, Harlan Y'all isn't go, here. Huh? If you haven't noticed, is Parvu with the elf? Is Paro actually in danger? Okay. I'm gonna uh, go check. Harlan just takes <laughs> off running back down the oh, road. Oh, wait for the oh sheet! Um, as you all start running... Paro! You, Harlan, you're, you're, you've got technically the highest passive of the three of you. Um, uh, you start to hear a, a vaguely high-pitched noise. And then a that high pitch noise turns into a whine and then a wail and then you hear um i'm gonna do an interpretation of this but kyle it's the sound of the hollow night like that power uh oh like a, like a oh, bunch no. of screaming voices and a sort of noise and you see in the distance in the village this massive cloud of shadow and blue light just erupt in the distance. Um, and as you're running, your overall's getting a little tighter. Uh, like running you... behind holding the sheet, like, wait! Kushiel, <laughs> uh, like, nudges Toshi and then, like, disappears into the shadow at the side of the house. And then as you're running by a, a tree, Harland, Kushiel appears next to you, galloping beside you towards the graveyard. Um, and you all take off towards whatever the fuck just happened at the graveyard, mm-hmm. which we will discover. Oh, go ahead. Farmhouse. Villain! Villain, make it! We gotta go! Okay. Oh, great. Okay. So you're all going. And you all start booking it down towards the graveyard, and we will discover what happened at the graveyard next week. Just just oh really God. quick, and did I take any yeah. damage from that? I'm not telling you. Okay, that's good to know. Just You don't know what it was. Yeah, I'm not telling you. Next time. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Just don't remind me not to don't update my hit points until then. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But. Nobody update their hit points unless you took a short rest. Do the things you have to do with a short rest, but Harlan and Power did not. So, um, so do not do that. Um, all right. And there we go. So, 
uh, we will continue with uh, with whatever Paru was getting into with Ravenovia uh, next week. And thank you so much, Lane, for your donation and your inclusion of your beloved Shadarkai uh, into our story. Sorry, Shadarkai and Shadogkai. Um, yeah. I love Kushio so much. Um, so yeah, we will be back next week with that information. What, 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 Ka, what? Will you say something? You want to say something? Huh? What's no, that I got cold. I got cold and I, 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 I shivered. Oh, I thought you made a face at my, my shed dog, Kai. I did. I did make a face at that. <laughs> okay. I got okay. nothing to say to you. Yeah. I thought you were making a face um, at what I said in chat. I will, I will say, just for the sake of clarification, that by the time you get to the graveyard, you are well and truly naked, and all your clothes appear behind you. <laughs> um, uh, I'll... Yep. I'll save it for um, because, uh, because uh, the thing you rolled was the target's body slowly absorbs any clothing he's wearing. <laughs> it was very good. <laughs> Nerdy Drunken Monkey Goblin, that is an amazing name. Thank you for the follow. I love Thank that you. so much. All right. So we have a lot of things to impart upon you as we depart. Not really a lot. We have important things to impart upon you before we leave you this evening. Next week is the 1st of June, mm -hmm. which means a couple things. We will have a new Die Hard Dice featured item to talk about, and we will be talking about our Kickstarter launch, uh, which I will say at least the title of which is Here Be Dragons, Loud and Proud. Yes. Uh, so we have some fun stuff coming up for you. Follow us on Twitter if you want to find out before Tuesday. Um, we will be launching an announcement where you can follow the Kickstarter um, and know when we go live. And we hope you all enjoy it. And we hope you join us in celebrating and supporting Pride uh, this, month, this coming month. So uh, we will be back next week with uh, a funny thing happened on the way to the graveyard. That's definitely the title of the session. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Um, uh, it's very long. It'll be one of our longest titles, um, but I'm very, I'm very committed to it. Alternate title: um, Free Hate Points. What, 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 what could happen? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And today was smashing pumpkins. Yeah. All right, everybody, have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful rest of your evening. Uh, have a safe rest of your week. We will see you all here next week. I host Discover RPG on Mondays at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, um, which I think I'll have to be making us a graveyard because I think we're having another combat session. Um, and uh, on Tuesday, we will be here 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern for Shenanigans, The Book of Fables. So we'll see you all soon. Make good choices. Be safe. And uh, please, above all, do us a favor and be good to each other. All right. Good night, everyone. To be continued.